B I G R O N, Big Ron. B I G R O N is Big Ron. For paparazzi, for paparazzi, they are doing a wonderful sale for you. And it's called Big Ron. B I G R O N, Big Ron. Thank you. I am tight and ready. Damn, here we go. <sighs> What are you talking about? We're on the air? This is Ron? Absolutely. Get ready for the funniest damn prank call show there is. That's right, bitches. It's the Macron Show at macronshow.com. And if you don't like this, go and f*** yourself. Excuse me, sir. Can you tell me who you are? Is who calling? Oh, give me a break. What are you calling about? Who are you anyway? What the hell is this? Who is this? Aren't you having fun? And now, your host... Macron. 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 Shut up. Yeah. Check, 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 penis check, and all that stuff. Hi, everybody. It's the 8th of May, which is actually the 47th of Daddy October, Ron, I think. Do, 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 Ron, You're a felted in a tip. I'm really you I'm got really to you clear got to your clear office, office last week, week and this AI this voice cloning is doing some genius shit. Chicks. Clear my office? When did I clear my office? I don't know what he's on about. Hi everybody. Welcome to the 8th of May. Those of us that turned up, look at this. We got Belfast down south, Dr. Charles, Gary, Hazelnuts, and Munson in the chat. And Carpool over there. But apparently Ronnie's busy working. Oh, here comes Raish linking in late. Apparently Ronnie's busy working. No sign of train wreck, no sign of Chumley. And Munson apparently is already drunk. So he's not going to be much use. I know. What the fuck's going on with you people? Honestly, it's supposed to be work time. Oh, at least some, Belfast. Some useless motherfuckers in here. Yeah, thanks, DS. Thanks for being here. Right. I'm just going right. to warn Jeff about this car that's coming. <laughs> beep, beep. Watch this. Oh, fuck off immediately. That's the car. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> Got him. Let's check the voicemails. You may notice I'm wearing a Macronathon t-shirt. Look how good this t-shirt looks, you guys. Look. I'm wearing a t-shirt with my own face on it. Look at it. Look at this t-shirt. You want it, don't you? You want it. Daddy you want it. Yeah. Go to... Thanks, Joho. Go to macronshow.com forward slash store and check it out. You can get Jeff getting hit by a car on a mug, which I've also got on the way. You can get posters, you can get t-shirts, you can get it all. Get in there, quick, quick, quick. Do some buying. All right, let's, uh, let's get through the goddamn voicemails. I got this eerie feeling that the worst one, uh, the first one, sorry, not the worst one, is coming from, uh, Dale. It just smells like a Dale call, let's see. Hi, guys. There Dale here with the manhole, formerly Trump War Room. Okay, once again, it's Monday. Monday with Magron. You guys know what to do. Give Ron that big tip that he wants. Uh, so go to macronshow.com forward slash donate. And if you guys really want to get in on the good stuff, go to buy me a coffee, join up, become a member. Now, to keep this short, don't want to run too long, uh, the ghost of Kevin has been invading the manhole, and for some reason he's in all the televisions and doing these audio announcements about some kind of limbo book club. Now, I happen to have caught some of it. Let me prime this here. I got it on tape. Let me see. Let me press this button here. Hey, why not join the audio book club at the manhole? I will read all the books that you can stand to listen to. Books like Eat Right, 
Wrong. The guy, anyway. How to seem intelligent. Peace of mind. By losing control for complete control. 16 hours a day. Some shit like that. I don't know. Fuck Ron. Rid yourself of doubt. Or should you? Mmm. Kathy. And also these great books. A hundred dead people no one misses. Eh, backpacking for shut-ins. Mm, what to wear on the toilet. Mm, tips on getting laid. Ray. Trim your way to fitness. Six hundred ways to give people the shaft. Poems for the insane. And my favorite book. Apartment hunting for devil worshippers. Now, fuck off, Ron, you uh, figure. Yeah, wow. That was a really weird recording. Toodles. Thanks, Dale. Dale's right. You should go to macronshow.com forward slash join and sign up. We did an amazing premium show just the other day. Saturday, one of the best shows for a while. I won't say too much, but we did a Domino's. Now, if you want to catch it, you need to be a premium member. You need to go to macronshow.com forward slash join. You need to be on the $10 or more a month tier. And that will unlock the premium show that we do once a month. And it was crazy. Four hours of complete mayhem with a really good ending. And you can now upgrade. If you're on the $5 tier, just go on, go on Buy Me Coffee, click upgrade. You'll love it. Trust me, this one's worth it. It's worth, worth the $5. Thanks, Eurofelcher. Thanks, Rob Peters. All right, what else we got here? Uh, who's this? This week on the Macron Show, find out, did Macron have an affair with Rosie O'Donnell? Ah, fuck. Did he lick her hemorrhoids that hung down like bunches of grapes? And coming up next, the Ray Show. Find out, why is Ray so goddamn gay? Uh, Brought well, to you by the Trashman. Fuck off, Trashman. Get out of here. Thanks, Trashman. Uh, I'm Elizabeth Holmes. Can I have one <laughs> drop of your blood? Really? And then I'll be able to do 99 really? tests on that blood. Right? Right? Wow. Uh, <clears throat> Thanks for that. <laughs> Any more? No, that was just a blank message. Who's this? Fucking hell. Oh, sorry. I've just got finished work. Ragman. Hello, everybody. It's Ragman here. Now, you hey, may know me Ragman. as the guy who's doing all the silly little drawings, such as uh, Jeff being hit off his bike, which is, by the way, is, uh, on sale if you want to go get it on like, a mug or a T-shirt or something like that. Anyway, um, Jeff seems to think that uh, that drawing was uh, done prior to the incident of him falling off his bike, uh, I, which doesn't really make any sense, to be honest, because I'm not a time traveler. Um, he seems to think that it was a graphic that was done uh, before he got hit or so. I don't know why he's fucking insane. I can't really hold it against him being a, uh, a crackhead and all. Uh, Jeff, if you're watching the show, never contact me again because you're mental. Anyway, remember uh, remember what to do. Uh, listen to Dale. Uh, Donate to the show. We need every penny we can to afford um, the world to know about Ron's giant British penis. Um, yeah. Enjoy the show. Bye. <laughs> Excellent work, Ragman. Yeah, Ragman does all the graphics. Hit him up if you want graphics. Hazel, what's with all the noise over there? The fuck are you doing? Hazel's causing a scene over here. Oh, there she goes with the mute button. Yeah, thanks, Ragman. So did Jeff really say that? Jeff thinks that graphic was premeditated. <laughs> tell the Ragman tell the future. I mean, comes here and makes a noise and meets up and don't say nothing. Yeah, we could hear something. Also, it's Queen Hazel from now on. Why is it Queen Hazel? <laughs> you know why it's Queen Hazel. No, I don't. Hey Jeff, she broke you the record. Oh yeah, Tommy Wright. Oh, here we go. Hey Jeff, I hear you had a bit of a run in last week <laughs> with your bicycle. Hey, Jeff, now, allegedly, I was driving a rental car, and somebody hit me head-on with a bicycle, and allegedly, it happened to be you. Now, Jeff, not only do you already owe me $300, 
but now you owe me another bill for putting these scratches all over my uh all over my rental car, Jeff. And that comes up to twelve hundred dollars. So what I need you to do is uh get me your attorney's information so that I can uh have him speak to my attorney so we can come to an agreement for you to pay up. And by the way, Jeff, you still owe me this week. It might be a Mack truck I might rent. Next week, it might be a bus I might rent. I don't know, Jeff. You still owe a big bill. And Mr. D, you better take note. Everything that's allegedly going on involving Jeff, I will collect one way or the other, Mr. D. One way or the other. Mr. D, better watch out. Tommy sounds very serious. And Jeff, he's warned you enough now. Uh, apparently Hazel has a big announcement to make. Hazel, go ahead. What do you want? Okay, so it's for, excuse me? It's for people who are listening now or listening back. If you are not a paid VIP supporter and you want to win a free month so that you can see what you've been missing, and believe me, you've been missing a lot, um, we encourage you to go and listen to the 24-hour Macronathon and it make sure that you're subscribed to our channel, please, if you're not. And also on a side note, like all our socials. And then if you vote for as many of your favorite calls as you like, and then please put that in the chat. And then if you can just send an email to macronshow at gmail.com and let us know what you picked. We're going to go through them all and we're going to give some people a free one month access to the VIP supporter shows. So please go ahead and see what you're missing and you better fucking vote for one of my calls. Thank you. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Thanks, Hazel. Thanks for that important announcement. Before we get started, I should read this quick disclaimer from the resident Banchode regarding our content for anyone that's new here. Please listen carefully. Before we jump in, a note on our content. The Macron Show is created for adult audiences only. We advise listener and reader discretion for graphic depictions of sex, graphic situations, and some downright filthy language. If you or anyone listening are triggered by this, please do not listen to the show. The content on this show is only and only for entertainment purpose and does not express the views of the show host co-host and management of the Macron show. All calls and information obtained herein are made for parody purposes and are not intended to be used for anything but comic purposes. You got that right, right? You got that right, right? All right. All right. With all that being said, let's do some of those prank phone calls that you guys love. Uh, let's get warmed up with some meetings. So many meetings suspended. Every week, more of them are suspended due to intruders. We don't know what's going on, but we'll try and help. Thank you for calling our... If you are the moderator, there are currently 26 oh, are. other participants in the conference. You are now unmuted. Hello, is this the meeting? You have been kicked from this conference. Uh, they were waiting for me. Fuckers. Du, du, du. Wow, most of them are fucking suspended. Unbelievable. Thank you for calling our talk. If you are the moderator, you are currently the only person. That one's abandoned. Yeah, they really are. They're just giving up, basically. Uh, let me just quickly find the uh, gray shitters. Uh, I think it's in my conversations with Ray, but it appears to have disappeared. Ray, send me a DM in Discord. I can't find you here. I don't know what happened. Did you change your username or something stupid? He's gone. He's gone. Hmm. Did Ray quit Discord? There he is. There he is. Found it. Yay. 
Sorry, it's probably oh. buried underneath all the penis pictures you got. I know. He does send me a lot of dick pics. Sometimes they're his. Welcome to the conference. If you are the moderator, there are currently 42 other oh, participants here we go. in the conference. And um, I've even noted over so many things and, you know, people, places, and things. And just for today, my abstinence is number one. And it comes before anything because, you know, there are things that I need to do to stay abstinent. So I will do those things. And some people like it and some people don't. And... You know, I ask God to remove all the resentments because I see it over resentments and the self-righteousness that I think that I was right and I was, you know, hurt or whatever. It's like I just need God, you know, to remove all of that. So, and the food is never the solution. If I don't eat, then, you know, sanity will be restored. I know that. So I'll do this together with all of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Who else would like to share your Maureen? Go ahead. Hi, Wanda. Hi. Someone came in with me. Okay, Ma Maureen's going to come in and then Josie Ann after that. Go ahead, Maureen. Thank you. Thanks, Wanda. Hi, I'm Maureen, a compulsive overeater and food addict. I weigh and measure my food three times a day from the gray sheet, write it down, call it into my sponsor. I don't eat no matter what. Today's day 200. It was uh, six months on April 23rd. And I don't have a lot to say. You are now unmuted. I'm grateful, and uh, my meal is ready, and I'm going to eat dinner. Hey, sorry, it's uh, me again. Actually, I wasn't finished yet. Can I continue my story, please? It's way more interesting than what you are saying. You're just a big, fat, greedy pig. I have real problems. Let me talk. I assume we have a moderator, but maybe we don't. So. Oh, you're all upset, eh? You fucking goof. Wanda, are you there? Wanda, we can't hear you. All right. Wanda, uh, you can eat a big fat Josie bag of dicks, you, you silly greedy pig. Share? I don't Wanda, know. <laughs> you can eat a big fat bag can of dicks, you silly greedy pig. Yes, you can. You are now unmuted. So much. Wanda, you can that. eat a big fat bag of dicks, you silly greedy pig. Yes. Yeah, All right, we're we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and close the meeting. Let's Daddy close with the serenity prayer because again, I'm not in front of my computer to kick this idiot off. Okay, let's go ahead and close the like button and go. You are now unmuted. Wanda God, is a fucking bitch. Grant me the serenity. Wanda is a fucking bitch. To accept the things I cannot Wanda change. Wanda is a fucking bitch. The courage. You are now unmuted. And the wisdom to know the difference. Keep coming back. It works if you Wanda, work you it. can eat my big fat ass. And we don't eat no You are now muted. All right, we're off. You are now unmuted. Wanda, you can eat my big fat ass. Wonderful night. Wanda, you can eat my big fat ass. You are now unmuted. I'm Wanda, just going to see Josiana if she wants to call Nancy so she can hear. I'd love to hear from her. You are now muted. You are now unmuted. Yeah, I would love to grab your head. Yeah. Put my big monster paws, fucking cock to your face. Start pissing right in your mouth and all over your face. Have you exposed that fucking egg bottom fucking hot fucking ass ring? Let me piss on it. Put my fucking dick right to it. Piss in it. Slide my cock up in your fucking hot ass and start charging you up with just fucking gallons of fucking sperm. You are now unmuted. Bye, everyone. Good meeting. Thank you for having me. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get down to some business. 
Let's see, let's see. I'm really interested in this one Belfast sent me. Let me know about the Zoom meetings today, Belfast. Let's get some visual entertainment going on. Uh, I'm calling this lady with the plastic dicks first. Let's just see, where, where, where did you originally post her? Was she in the com Comlainer's room? No. Where did, where was I supposed to have got her from? Oh, it was in here. Oh, there it is. I'm sorry. I see it. Brittany. Brittany. Brittany is complaining about UPS. Uh, she's definitely a convicted felon. She has like eight felonies. And, uh, on Twitter she tweeted a picture. <clears throat> she sounds fucking nuts. Uh, she ordered a 50 pound package. She couldn't carry it up the stairs herself. October 9th, 2020. <coughs> How many sex toys do you own? Here's part of my collection. And she's got like a hundred fucking vibrators. She's got a, a big, she's got a big sex toy collection, so, uh... Different shades of purple. Yeah. Let's give her a call. She still don't be raised. Oh! Oh, no. I really want to talk to her. She don't beat Ray's collection, though. No, Ray has the biggest collection. See, money thanks for the tip, by the way. Oh, Belfast, what have you done? Oh! You need to find more numbers for us. You would have been great. Oh, oh, maybe, maybe. Come on. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic oh, maybe. message system. Nine. Hello? Hello, I'm calling from UPS. May I speak to Brittany, please? Wow. It's all kids and police sirens. Hello? What the fuck? Hey! Go get your mom, you little dipshit. Santa Claus isn't real. Santa Claus is not real. And your mom's a deadbeat, degenerate bitch, ordering dildos on the internet. The fuck? That's probably her, but... She's just got a gaggle of kids. Did you hear the police sirens in the background? It sounds like she'd be amazing if we could only get her to the phone. She's probably having another kid right now. She's probably just squeezing one out in the kitchen while she cooks noodles for dinner. What? Let me talk to Brittany. I. I go get. I go get your mom. Go get your. Go get your mom right now. Right now. I ain't to you. Go get your mom, you stupid little shit. What the f <laughs> ah! I bet that's her number. Remind me, and we'll try that again later. What the f Im Im <clears throat> Imagine if that's really her. <laughs> <laughs> that's just how she talks. <laughs> Probably. Probably. Wouldn't even, wouldn't even fucking shock me. Wow. <laughs> That's really her. <laughs> All right, Lowe's. Some kind of fucking problem. He's called Jeff, so watch out. Here we go. Hi, you reached the voicemail box of Jeffrey Pitlevsky. I'm not here right now. That's him. That's him. We got him. And he's on piss no tweets. Hello? 
Hello? Hi there, Jeffrey. Hi. I'm calling from the corporate office with Lowe's. How are you doing? Uh, I'm doing well, thanks. How are you? Real good, thank you. Reason for the call is I was actually alerted to your file by my social media team. I understand you reached out to them with a complaint? Uh, yes. Uh, yeah. Um, you know, unfortunately, the store by me, uh, we, uh, we actually ordered uh, some bathroom tile and a vanity uh, and uh, actually um, have had three different delivery dates. Uh, three different no-shows. I've gone to the store four times. They can't tell me what's wrong. Um, I was actually told today that a, an assistant store manager would give me a call. He didn't call, so I'm actually on my way to the store right now for a fifth time um, to see what's going on, um, you know, to get a refund. And, and hopefully, you know, um, we'd like to pick up the stuff if it's there and get refunded. But, yeah, it's just been, you know, unfortunately, it's just been a terrible experience. Okay, just let me check again what you ordered. So it was something for the bathroom, right? Uh, correct. It was uh, it was like uh, floor tile. It was um, like shower tile, and it was a, a vanity um, for the bathroom. Yeah, I see all that here. Um, so I'm just looking at the information. It looks like it is out with a driver at the moment. Um, it's one of one of our own drivers, actually. Um, mm, mm, mm. Now, I can see that there has been a couple of delays. The driver's marked down here on one occasion. He was unable to deliver the package. Were you out sometime when he came over? No, no. There was, there was no communication at all from the store. Tell us that we actually stayed home on uh, three separate occasions to wait for them, and they never showed. Okay, that is strange. Um... Because, yeah, there's a note on here to say that you there was, there was an, a delivery attempt, you weren't available. For some reason, it looks like there isn't a specific time scheduled for re-delivery. When, when was the last time that you waited in? What time did you wait in? Uh, so it was actually supposed to be sa this past Saturday. Um, they gave us a window from um, 1 to 5 p.m. Um, yeah, Eastern Standard Time. We're in Pennsylvania. Um and uh, I waited, you know, at home from one to five, and uh, nothing. Uh, and then, and then even today, so I went in yesterday to the store, and then today uh, she said that, you know, the assistant store manager would give me a call. Uh, to be honest with you, I said I didn't trust you, um, but she said she'll make she'd make it happen. Uh, okay. And you know, what do you know? You know, I, I didn't get a call. So, oh gosh, I'm sorry you know, to hear uh, that. Well. What yeah, I'd like to do to try and get things expedited for you is I'm actually going to give the driver a call directly and just find out what the situation is and how quickly he can make that delivery. Uh, would you be able to hang on the just hang on the line while I do that? Yeah, yeah. I mean, the only thing with us too is that, like, we you know just from this, like, we want some sort of reimbursement. You know, we 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 like the stuff, but you know, we we need something here. You know, or else like. I talked to my wife, and you know, we we'll, we'll probably just cancel it if we don't get any kind of sufficient uh, reimbursement for this too. So, just, you know. Oh gosh. Know. Well, uh, I'm very sorry to hear that, but I will definitely be able to arrange something like that for you here at the corporate level. But first and foremost, I'd like to get in touch with the driver and make sure that the you know the delivery is happening. So, can you bear with me for one minute while I just do that? Sure. Yeah. Perfect. Bear with me a second. Hello? Oh, hello? Oh. Uh, hey there, it's uh, Ron calling from uh, you, uh, from the Lowe's Corporate Liaison Team. Who am I speaking with? Oh, uh, it's Diaz. What you got, man? Kind of busy on one side. Diaz, hey, you've got a delivery on your truck right now. Can I give you the uh, internal tracking number? Yeah, hold on a second. Go ahead and give it to me. So it's 6942 008 0085. Zero five, you said? That's the one, yeah. And if you can just confirm the name on that for me. Oh, that's that Jeffrey Ping Ping Pelesky, whatever. 
Okay, Kowalski, yeah. So Jeffrey, Jeffrey, Jeffrey yeah. Uh, so the gentleman's reached out to us because he's been waiting for his delivery. He's actually had three missed delivery attempts now, including one, I think, this weekend. Man, um, this kid's been on my truck all weekend, man. What the fuck? So what happened? What, what? I went there Saturday and nobody was there. You went there? What, okay, what time did you go over there on Saturday? Uh, uh, let me look back at my notes. Uh, uh, 3.05. 305 on Saturday, okay. Um, Knocked on the doorbell, nobody there. So I, I've got the Wait, I've got the customer yeah. on the on the line with us. He's just we're just wanting to know like, is there any way you could drop that off for me tonight? Is that doable? Tonight, man, I'm all the way across Philly, man. What you want me to drive all the way across? Yeah, I mean he needs Wait, this. What 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 time did you come? I mean, I was home all day. You know what time it is? Saturday. Saturday. It's fucking five thirty. You know how long it's going to take me to get across Philly? Come on, man. Well, if you, we, I'd appreciate if you could do that for me. I can't authorize the overtime here at corporate. Right now, man. I mean, come on. I'll go all the way across Philly for this guy, man. He wasn't there but Saturday. Yeah. Hey, chicken, sir, can you, Jeff, offer. Jeff, can you hear us? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I was there all Saturday. Uh, they, they, what what, what address that. do they have on file? So I was there the whole day. Uh, let me see. I don't know offhand. I have to look at my back, back in my notes, man. I'm trying to drive. It, it's definitely the correct address we have here. Mm -hmm. It's the address that you put on the order. Um, is there any way you maybe just didn't hear the doorbell or something like that? No, I mean, I mean, I, I gave the store my both of my phone numbers, my wife's and mine, and I would no, I was sitting in the living room. I would have heard, I would have heard the doorbell. And I, I call, I, I call know. those numbers. <laughs> I call those numbers. No answer. I drove Wait, up. What, 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 what number did you call? What number did you call, though? Sir, I I don't have the notes in front of me. What the? I mean, what you want me to do? Stop and pull over? I'm just saying what happened. All right. Well, I mean, I, I, yeah, call, but I, I, didn't, I didn't receive any calls. I always call 30 minutes before I show up to make sure somebody's there. He didn't answer, so I just took a chance, went all the way across town to go drop it off, knocked on the door. Nobody was there. And then now he wants to call and complain about it? It's not my fault. Uh, He's he, been on my truck he, all weekend. He, 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 he. Okay, you know, well. You know, guys, you, know, you know, guys, I'm going to cancel this. I'm going to cancel well, we, everything. This, this is not we, a we can't cancel that. Uh, uh, Mr. Diaz, can you head over there right now with the delivery for me? That would be great. No, 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 guys, guys. I'm sorry. I'm just going to cancel it, and I want to pull it. Well, hold on. We can't, no, we can't cancel the order at this point, sir. It's out on the truck. I mean, no, you no, would you need to. to I've, I've been waiting if, the whole weekend. If you want to cancel, if you want to cancel the order, you'll have to take delivery, and then you'll have to send the items back. No, no, we're not. We're not doing that. All right, Mr. Diaz, just drop it off outside the house for me, okay? Just drop it off by the door. Can you do that for me? Hey, hello, hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, sorry, I was going through the going through some traffic, man. I'm sorry, my phone cut off. All right, just take the stuff over there. Just dump it by the front door, okay? Yeah, it might be later tonight, man. I don't know. I'm all the way across town. I got two more deliveries on this side. You know, all right, traffic. He, he's gonna traffic. leave it outside for you, sir. Okay? If you do want to return oh, it, just call customer yeah. service. You got to wake oh, his ass where, up and where, come where, sign for it. I ain't leaving without a signature. I ain't leaving no signature. He better sign for it because he's gonna complain. Oh and no, I no, mean, I I can authorize you to leave it without a signature. Just dump it out there, okay? All right, well, I'll I, leave it tonight. Can I can I go yeah. to the store and talk about this? No, no, sir. This has now been escalated to corporate. So the store. It's on my truck. It's on my truck, you idiot. Come on now. He he's on his way over there now, sir. So um, if you're not there to take delivery, I've authorized him to leave it outside. So you definitely won't miss it. Uh, I mean, I, I, I'll, I'll be there, but you guys have to have the right address. We, it's definitely the correct address, sir. I've verified Daddy it just now here at corporate. Do 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 but um, I, I'd strongly suggest as well that when Mr. Diaz comes over there, you do make sure you answer the door. And you, you need to lose the attitude as well, okay? Yeah, I gotta go, man. I got two deliveries gotta do. I'm gonna be here all fucking night driving all the way across Philly. <sighs> okay, thanks, Mr. Diaz. Thank you. I'll, ha I'll let you go. Thank you. Okay.
All right, so Hello? so yeah, so he's off the line now. So he's on his way to your place right now. Uh, his GPS is saying he'll be about thirty minutes. All right. The, the only thing is, I'm, I'm just very confused because, um, I mean, how did you guys get my information just from my my Twitter? Well, it was passed to us here at corporate by the social media team. I I assume the IT department is somewhere finding your number. Now, he's going to be there in 30 minutes, so, and he is working late to get this done for you, so I'd appreciate if you do drop the attitude a little bit when he gets here. Try and be a little bit less adversarial, okay? No, I, I appreciate it, but the thing is, like, you know, I, I went to the store a bunch of times, and yeah, no, I haven't. We'd, we'd appreciate it if you quit going to the store, okay? The staff in there are getting a little bit annoyed with your little visits. Um, that's one of the reasons it was escalated to me. The store manager has actually asked that you don't go back in there anymore. Excuse me? Yeah, it's just, they're just getting sick of all the little visits and all the, you know, the whole man Karen routine. You just, uh, just wait for your delivery, okay? Be polite to the driver, don't be an asshole, and we can draw a line under all this. How does that sound? Oh! <laughs> he accidentally hung up. Hello? Uh, sorry, I think the line accidentally got disconnected there, so... Um, so I was just saying the driver's gonna be there in 30 minutes. If you can lose the attitude and just take the delivery, we can draw a line under this, okay? Uh, sir, I'm gonna go to the store and, and talk with them. No, sir, you've been asked not to go into the store, okay? What part of that don't you understand? Who has asked me not to go to the store? The corporate office, sir. The corporate office is making a formal request that you don't go back in there. They're getting a little bit sick of your shit down there. All right, this isn't professional. I don't think this is Lowe's, so... What? I'm actually, uh, Why on earth would you say that? You better not. <laughs> All right. We'll just leave him to go into the store. Discord take a shit on you, yeah? It'll do that. Yeah, like in the middle of the call, I had to restart it. Fucking thing. It left, <clears throat> it's weird, it left me in voice chat and everything, I just had to start it over. Uh, I've got a great idea for this next complainer. So this lady owns or runs a museum, right? A kind of museum. Ah, uh, a crappy one. I suppose I'd better check, because we're going to need to know anyway. Uh... Specific. Uh, I think it's a history museum. The Charlotte Museum of History. Okay. So she sent out a tweet telling UPS, Amazon, and FedEx that the museum is closed on Mondays. Uh, they keep getting package delays saying the business is closed, but in reality the drivers aren't even attempting. Uh... So I say we call from UPS and then Amazon and then FedEx, all with different voices, and say we're outside with a package. <laughs> and just keep doing it. <laughs> Be like, why is the museum locked? Museums are locked. That's what I'm going to do. That's what we're going to do. And then, and then we'll get DS and then someone else. There's some horrible news, though. Horrible news? What's the horrible news? 95 people watching and 44 likes. 44 likes! 95 watching! God fucking damn it! Made me do that again. I'll do it. You smash that like button right now. Oh, 
Wait, hold on. That didn't copy the number. Come on, machine. Oh, jerk me around. It didn't work. Hello? Oh, is that Terry? Hello? Hi, is that Terry? Who is this? Oh, I'm a UPS driver. I got a package for you. I'm just outside. Okay. I'm outside the museum right now. Door's locked for some reason. What museum, uh, honey? I, 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 uh, the museum. I'm here. The Charlotte Museum I don't know of... What you... Oh, you stupid huh? lady. Do you not work at the museum? No, I don't uh, know who you are. Ah, fucking shit. Ah, fuck it. I'm just going to fuck this thing through the window. <laughs> All right, later. We'll, later, bitch. We'll call you later. And let them know you're making calls. Fuck, I'll let them know. Yeah, fuck off. Gone. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> she thinks that was UPS. Marcus, thanks for the tip. Marcus, show that live slash tip. He ordered a Macronathon t-shirt and mug. Very nice. A shrewd investment. Be yeah, that'll be a collector's edition soon. Oh no. Fuck off. Oh no. Alright. I posted a new number for her there, just at the top of the post. Oh, for Terry. Yep. Okay. No, no. Womp womp. Fail. Fail. Uh, let's try Brittany again, see if that dumb fucking kid of hers has let go of the phone. I look down the bottom, I can find another number for her. I really want to talk to Brittany. She sound... Oh, was it the last, was it the last number that worked? been forwarded to an automatic voice message system nine whatever get out of here go down to the bottom of show chat there i found another number for while i'm tried on her husband's number oh on her dress saves and her food saves and everything else a foot size why have we got a foot size for some reason it came up in her profile please leave your message for nine three six Those foot fetish Could be. Please leave your message for nine. I can't believe she's got a husband. Please leave your message for nine three six. Uh, let's call the husband. Sorry, you have reached it. Oh, I don't think we're going to be able to talk to Brittany. Mm. No, fuck him. Fuck him. Let's move on from this tragedy. It's probably that number with a stupid kid. Uh, this person lost their birth certificate because they sent it by UPS. 
I wish Scoby was here because we could say Scoby got a new birth certificate and he's n <laughs> he's now Jennifer. Identity theft arrest. I should clone her voice with the AI and. Ah oh, ah oh, oh no. What's going on with these numbers? You could not complete your call. Ah, oh, what have you done, Belfast? Ah, oh. ah. Oh. Oh no. Oh dear, no, that's a bad, that's a bad one. Wah, 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 wah. Let's move on. We have a big problem over at Delta. Sweet, gentle Delta. Daddy Big Ron, do 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 do. Daddy Big Ron, do 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 do. Daddy Big Ron. Ragman, thank you. Daddy Big Ron. Got my two awesome macronathon shirts. Ragman has ordered macronathon shirts, mug, and a sticker. Gonna put the sticker on my new PC when it's finished. This guy who says he was overcharged for a bag. the voice mailbox of Brandon Bailey. I'm currently unavailable. If you leave your name, number, and a brief... That's him. Target acquired. You've reached the voice mailbox. the voice mailbox of come on come on I leave miss leave my snooty message come on Brandon the voice mailbox of Brandon Bailey. I'm currently unavailable. If you leave your name, number, and a brief message, I would turn your call as soon as I can. Thank you. Yeah, hi there, sir. I'm calling from Delta about your complaint. I do need to speak to you quite urgently, um, and I will try your phone again a little bit later on. I appreciate it if you could pick up. Thanks, and have a great day. Check off. Pick up. Mm -mm -mm. All right, let's look in the complainers room. I think Daz got most of these numbers. Let's see if they're any good. Ah, uh, let's see. Frontier. Poor old Frontier. The poor man's airline. That should be their tagline. Your airline is the worst. No shit. Hello? 
Hello, you've reached Darius Hodge. At That's him. Come on, Darius. He's a fake Tyrone. He's a wish.com Tyrone. Hello, you've reached Darius. Darius, you prick. Hello? Hi, Darius. Ron calling from the corporate office at Frontier. How are you doing? Good. How are you? I'm great, thanks. Reason for the call is I was actually alerted to a uh, message you had sent us on social media. Do you have Daddy a moment to speak Ron, about do, that? Do, 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 Daddy Big Ron, sure. do, 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 um, Daddy So I understand Ron, you reached do, do, out on social Daddy media Ron. with a complaint. What happened? Donating because of that joke. The poor Mons um, airline cheers joy. This is my first time flying Frontier. The experience getting, just getting to the plane, leaving Atlanta to try to go to uh, Cancun, Mexico, and then trying to leave Cancun to come back to Atlanta, just the whole airport experience was beyond subpar. I mean, the way that uh, the, the whole, like <clears throat> the whole notion that there's some sort of value airline is a joke because you have to pay for everything. Once you get on the, to even get a seat on the plane to get a so-called personal item that you may esteem as not being a personal item. Once you get to the airport, there's no direction as far as where to go when you get to the airport, where, whether you go to uh, the, the baggage claim for domestic or international, there's no signage. And then leaving Cancun is an absolute disaster, which is what prompted me to put that message out there. The issue was that we got to the airport three hours or more early, which is what they tell you to do for international flights. When we got to the airport, we were told that we actually could not check our bags because we were too early. And they let other, I guess, other cities that were departing go before us while we had to wait in line for almost an hour and a half. So I can see why people get on the plane and are pissed off and things get on social media, people having fights and things like that on, on the flights. So, okay. Now, there is something that I've been alerted to by the airport staff that I would like to speak to you about uh, today, um, as well as some of the comments that you'd left on social media. But... I have a report here that you were quite aggressive with some of the staff at the airport during checking. Did you have some kind of altercation with them? No, I didn't have any. I'm behind a. I'm behind a gate. I simply asked them, like, why can't we check in? There was no altercation. Well, the, I asked the notes I've got here from the lady, I'm just going to read them to you. It says, customer arrived way too early, became very aggressive, demanded to be checked in, and then started acting all ghetto in the terminal. Um, would you like to speak on that at all? Well, I would say that's a very racist comment. Uh, I didn't say anything derogatory. I would say it's I, racist to presume that only black people can live in the ghetto, but please continue. I mean, we can end this conversation now. I'm not going to ever fly your airline again. Well, no, just, just it's, it's just you're trying to pull the race card now to excuse your, your, no, your, I mean, your, your terrible but, behavior. I mean, there, the problem well, is, so is we're, we're going to have to put you and your family on the no-fly list unless you can provide a better explanation for this. Okay, so once again, I didn't touch anybody. I didn't raise my voice to anybody. I simply asked... Well, hold on a minute. Nobody why? accused you of touching anybody. That came from you. Why did you say you were touching people? Because you just said that I was being aggressive. Yeah, but I never, said, I never said you touched anyone. You said you touched somebody. Who did, who did you touch? I did not... First of all, I did not say I touched anybody. You said I was in an altercation, so I was clarifying that there was no altercation. I simply asked the agent, who is not a not a uh, Frontier employee, that basically they said to me that I had to wait. They didn't work for Frontier; they were a TSA agent, right? Right. So, so you you can't argue agent, with you can't be getting all ghetto with the TSA agents, sir. That's not going to work out for you. Okay, so I don't understand why you would. Say the word ghetto when I'm simply talking to you just as I'm talking to them I ask the question why do we have to come here early only to wait in line and not be able to be checked in I was trying to be a good traveler so I could actually go and relax and travel before I got on the flight however they would not allow us to check in I simply wanted to understand why let me that explain it. it to you, sir. Okay, so what happens is we check in people in the order that their flights are departing. The, this isn't complicated. This isn't difficult to work out. Surely someone could have drawn you a diagram to explain that. We, you know, the planes take off one at a time. 
and we yeah, we check if I fly people any in. Other airline, I can get there early and check in, and my bag can be you know put on the plane without there that, being an issue. That varies from airport to airport depending on the day, sir. Okay, I'm just I'm looking at your your travel log here. You don't travel often enough to really have an opinion on that. To be quite honest, I'm sorry. Do you? Did, I did mention this is my first time flying Frontier, correct? Yeah, no, I I can tell. So I've I've flown uh, pretty often for the past I don't know seventeen years. I'm a consultant, so right. I've been diamond on Delta for four or five years, been platinum for most of my time flying. So I I know how it works at the airport. I this well, why didn't time. you know why didn't you fly Delta then, sir? If they're so much better than us, <clears throat> because for this particular trip, I was trying to save some money and trying to try out Frontier. So right, you so know, you cheaped so out on a ticket and you got cheap service and now you're complaining is that what you're telling me i mean i'm I, sorry what <laughs> do you do you do you work for frontier yes sir I, i'm a customer service operative i so can, why are you being why are you being derogatory towards me i i don't think i am being derogatory sir i'm not sure you know what that word means but i can get hold of a supervisor if you'd like to speak to one I, i'm not sure you know if you if you're not happy with my candor but i'm only I'm only explaining to you how things work over here at Frontier. Where it, what, you just called me ghetto. You insulted my intelligence. I didn't call you. Me. No, no, no. I didn't call you ghetto. I was reading from the notes left by the the staff at the airport terminal. Two of them referred to you as ghetto. Okay. Now, if you're not happy, I can escalate this to a supervisor if that's what you want. If you like it, sure. Okay, well, just hold for one moment, and I will see if I have one available. Damn. Ghetto people. Your call is very important to us. Please hold. It's a great day to fly at Frontier. This is Hazel speaking. How may I help you today? Hi, how are you doing? I'm great. How are you? Good. What's your name? My name is Hazel. And Hazel. Um, am I speaking? It looks like these notes are coming through. Is your name Darius? It is. It is. Okay, um, Darius, how may I assist you today? Yeah, I was calling because uh, I just got a call, a few calls from one of your customer services reps. And Wait. I didn't know the number, so I just ignored it. And I finally picked up. Um, and I guess he was trying to understand why I posted on my personal social media about an experience I had flying Frontier. Um, and I explained it to him. And then he proceeded to tell me that the airport staff, we were leaving Cancun, coming back to Atlanta. The airport staff said that I was acting ghetto. And I thought that was kind of offensive, as well as they were saying that I had an altercation, which was not true. I was simply asking the TSA agent who was liaison between the frontier supervisor as to why we had to wait to check our bags when we arrived at the airport early. And I understood that there was a three-hour time limit between when we could check in and go. So when we, it came time to to be able within that three hour time frame, which was basically when the um, <clears throat> excuse me when the doors closed for the for the uh, flight, we still weren't able to check in. So I was trying to find out why, and apparently that was perceived as quote unquote ghetto. The other thing that just happened with your customer service rep is he just <laughs> insulted me a few times. He tried to say that I have I clearly don't fly much when yeah I just flow. Flew Frontier one time, but I've, I've flown other airlines plenty of times because of my work. Two, that I was acting ghetto towards him because I'm talking to him, ask, like trying to explain myself, 
And then he said something else that was kind of condescending. So he told me to look something up in the dictionary because I didn't understand the, the, the meaning of something. So I'm trying to understand how this is okay. Oh, then when he tried to transfer me over, I heard overheard him talking under his breath, talking about quote unquote ghetto people. Okay. Um, what was the original nature of your complaint? I didn't, I just put something on Twitter and I guess it, because I had, at put I just said I'm not flying Frontier again, basically. And, and I guess because he, he must be in the what department was... that searches social media for these type of things, he reached out. Um mm. so I, I don't I didn't call in with any complaint. He reached out to me. But what was the what was the nature of your dissatisfaction with our wonderful airline? Uh the issue is around my experience trying to get on the plane, uh, both leaving uh, my originating destination, and then coming back from the destination I was coming back uh, to the United States on. So just the experience in the airport. Okay. So first of all, I'm just looking over the notes. Just to clarify a few things, Darius, we're not responsible for the airport. So if you had an issue at the airport, that's, that's you know, we just rent space at the airport. And okay. um, so just so you know, and you mentioned something about a TSA agent being the liaison between you and us. The TSA agent works for the airlines and for the airline authority. They do not work for um, the, the airlines in particular. So I just want to clarify that with you. Um, no, I understand, note, that. I understand that. That's calm fine. down, calm down, calm down. Let me let me finish, sir. You're getting I'm not, I'm calm. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not raising my voice. Sir, sir, calm down. Let me finish. Um, finally, I am seeing that there was an altercation on these notes and that um, it looks like you were getting aggressive with the TSA agent and with some of the Frontier representatives at the airport. Is that correct? No, I, that's what I just explained to the to the person. I was just asking questions. That's not, I wasn't being aggressive. I didn't yell, yell at them. I okay, didn't raise sir. my voice. Sir, can we keep the conversation civil between the two of us? Um, I really want to resolve your problem. Um, I also see a note that you smelled like alcohol and 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 um, other substances at check in. Was that something that was noted to you by the person who checked you in? No, I don't. I didn't drink anything or have anything. Like it was in the morning. How? What, what, are, we, what are we talking that's the, about? That's why they noted it because they thought it was in the morning it was a little strange sir did were you able did you get your flight home yes okay so i still i'm i still am having difficulty understanding the nature of the complaint from your end i do see it on our end and i can certainly see you know there is some aggression here and obviously you're not very happy and i just don't understand what you know what we can do for you here because you know, we did our, we got you on the plane. We got you here. You, I have some notes here that said, saying that you were, these are, I'm reading the notes, very ghetto with the staff who checked you in. You had an altercation. You appear to have some form of intoxication and that you were aggressive. Yeah, I wasn't intoxicated. I wasn't drinking. I mean. Just I, natural I, aggression, like from anger? No, no. Uh, I, it seems like you may not work for Frontier. I don't understand why you're talking to me like this. So it's okay. Sir, no I'm big reading deal. the notes and I'm, um, Darius, Thank I'm you. actually here to help you. I can assure you I work for Frontier. You're welcome to contact me back. I don't understand why you think I would be wasting my time speaking to you. I certainly don't want any information from you. I'm here to resolve a problem. Um, it looks to me like you, uh, you mentioned that you've flown before, but it looks like it's the first time I can see a booking with Frontier. So we thought maybe you were a novice flyer and that you didn't understand the way the airport worked. And sometimes flying can be really scary to people. So certainly people do tend to get aggressive and act a little bit ghetto, but I really want to understand your problem and I really want to help you. So please tell me what I can do to help you. No problem. I'm good. Thank you very much. Have a great Calm day. Calm down. Calm down and tell me. I'm good. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you. Darius. Darius, are you still there? Oh, what a little bitch. God, he was fucking boring. He was boring. I'm not even going to call him back. He was too boring. Phony thing. Boring little asshole fucking guy. Uh, someone's complaining about Waffle House here. No 
Nobody tells Zero Hero. I don't think we've ever had a Waffle House complaint. I don't remember one. Everyone knows it's shitty. Yeah, why would you complain? Got a quick Zoom, if you want to do this first. Oh shit, yeah, I did notice that. Yeah, yeah, we have a Zoom meeting, yay. Yay. It's about time we got some goddamn Zoom meetings. You know what to do, Belfast. Put a map on the little TV here. Let me in, let me in. Letters, and I'm a big proponent of guide letters. I get so much out of them. I just try to sit quietly. It particularly helps me when I've got um, something, a problem or issue that's really nagging at me. And, you know, I'm perseverating. It's going over and over and over in my head. And I'm just, you know, not able to get to a conclusion or to figure out what my higher powers plan is. <laughs> um, I love that so much. So anyway, um, <laughs> I, and I said, people talk about their dear God letters. So I write kind of get into a quiet place and then write my dear God letter and, um, and then sit quietly for a while and then write the God. It's write so back childish, but funny. Um, and it's always very helpful. And the answer on. usually is. Put some hair. Come on, come on, Belfast. Make it better. Put to, some detail on there. Um, <laughs> you know, to stop, to pray, to. Um, I don't know. Just think about what I'm doing. There may not be an answer, but I always get clarity. Um, and like I said, the main message is always <laughs> look at that. There's like two more. He's in charge, not me. Um, look at that. Um, and, um, who should we pick out? Who's that? Uh, I'll end there. I'm worrying compulsive overeater. I'm not going to leave my number right now. Okay, thank you, Mom. Changed my name to one of the other users. <laughs> Did they kick you out, Belfast? Um, <laughs> okay, the next tool. <laughs> the money is on the chat. <laughs> the next tool is I'm gonna call her while she's talking. Like to read and or share in literature. Let's see if, see Kathy? Kathy, go right ahead. Uh, my name is Kathy, grateful recovering compulsive reader. Literature. Our OA literature and the AA Big Book are ever available tools which provide insight into our problem of eating compulsively, strength to deal with it, and the very real hope that there's a solution for us. So the literature is just another um, friend. This is. Reverend Ernest. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's great oh, to be thanks. here tonight. Who is Nobody that? Knows. Who do I need to delete? Who do I need to kick out? We're being bombed. <laughs> Dear higher power, we thank you for so, this. Event. It's not I think it, I think well, it might be cash. That, that person losing everybody. I think it might be Kathy. I don't yes, know. Give us the strength. All right, I'll leave. I'm going to leave. Time. And the willpower to say no to that. No, yeah, with a little yeah, yeah. With my big monster paws, fucking cock to your face, start pissing right in your mouth and all over your face. Have you exposed that fucking neck bottom? Is it Let me piss on it. Very right to it. Piss in it. Slide my cock up in your fucking hot ass. I don't know how to shut you up in fucking gallons of fucking sperm. Does, do you see the writing on the screen, anyone? Yes, yeah. we do. We're okay. being bombed. Okay. <laughs> Let's disconnect. Why don't we disconnect and come back in, okay? Well, okay. Uh, the bomber was okay. actually Mark, the weird guy with all the children's toys behind him. Um, can we get rid of him? No, no it isn't Mark. <laughs> it is not Mark. 
Whoever he had a he had a bunch of weird him. children's toys in the background with him. It's kind of creepy. Can we get him off it's there? Not, Can we get him off? Him. He was the one it's that absolutely not. He wrote wait. he it's, wrote the word cock on the screen. All right, I'm just saying. No, I saw him not. do it. It was Mark. No, it was not. Yes, it was. It was Mark. He's the bomber. <laughs> <laughs> they ended the meeting. <laughs> Is she going to start it again, though? Oh, no. Did they? Is that it? Is it dead? Let me back in. Kaylee, is that you there? Oh, I'm sorry. My dog's next to me. She was drinking water. I'm going to make Okay. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> what is this? I'm going to change my name to Carly and the Kaylee and then play yeah. dog barking sounds. <laughs> and they're going to think yeah, it's her. I'm trying to see if I can... <laughs> Yes, I can't get in there. Um, that's not me. I don't. There's another person that says Kaylee making noise. I don't know who that is. But I'm gonna make myself. I'm going to rename myself to Nina before they know this. Paya Dan Karana Yad Rakan Jeff O'Neill Abhi P. Samalengik Hai Aron K. Pasek Chota Ling Hai Yamat Kaho Kimeni Kesiko Bitum Hari Bahan Kochoda Artum and Choda Bahan Kamine Lekin Ron Kalingitana Chota Hota Hai Ki Usekoi Dekna Hata Ise Usaka Front Bottom Kahajata Hai. Front Bottom? <laughs> what the fuck is going on in here? When did I learn that? Ah. <laughs> Guys, uh, that weirdo Mark is back in here. The guy with the children's toys. Can we get him off here, please? He was the bomber. He was the intruder. Ah, there we go. Kicked, finally. Kicked. Let me know if your dog got triggered by that noise, you guys. Anyone's dog's going crazy right now. Oh, no. Hazel's dogs went nuts. Sorry, dogs. Sorry, Harry and Hazel. My bad. Alright, well, uh, anyway. Let me know if you got any more of those, Belfast. That was a, that was a good one. Uh, da, 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 da. Right, where's that bitch bitching about Waffle House? Well, just see about this. Oh, I will. Macronshow.live slash tip. Don't forget to slide a tip in today. We need all the help we can get. Hello? Hello, Delia? Mm. Oh, you stupid fucking... These fucking ghetto people, they're too stupid to, like, ask who it is. They just pick up and then freeze. Thank you for calling. You've reached Delia Halfield. That's her as well, the stupid bitch. calling. You've reached Delia Halfield. Unfortunately, I am unavailable to take your call at this time. However, if you leave your name, number, and brief message, 
I'll be sure to return your call within the next 24 to 48 hours. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hi, Delia. I was calling from the Waffle House corporate office about your complaint, uh, but I can see that since you just want to play games on the phone, this isn't a serious complaint. Uh, please don't waste our time here anymore with this ghetto crap. We are a legitimate company and we're, we're trying to run a business here. Okay, thanks. Bye. Got to remember that I've left a few messages tonight and call some people back. If you guys get a chance, look out for anyone tweeting about me. Ah, uh, lows. Low down, dirty lows. I've done it again. Wahalpon. I just realized there's no Ronnie to dial when I go for a break. Oh no. Oh no. Hmm. Apparently Belfast's getting a dialer there. Hi, you reached voicemail box of Christopher Cora. I'm not available to take your call if you please. His last name's Pakora. Isn't that Indian food? Like chicken Chicken Pakora. I'm pretty sure it's an Indian thing. Yeah. Chicken Pakora, look it up, hold on. Chicken pakora. Yeah, it's like uh, chicken and curry. Guy's named after bancho food. Hi, you reached voicemail box of Christopher Pakora. Hi, you reached voicemail box of Christopher Cora. I'm not available to take your call. If you please leave a short message, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hi there, sir. Calling from the corporate office with Lowe's. I need to speak to you quite urgently about your complaint. Um, I will try your phone again a little bit later today. Thank you and have a great day. T-Mobile gang complaints. Good old T-Mobile. Come on, Jonathan. His last name's Small. Haha. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, wait. It doesn't let me call from T-Mobile, does it? I'll use my brand new corporate number. By the way, to all the people that have been trying to get companies to call me, don't use the old number. It has been burned. It is gone. If you want a number to use, then uh, get in touch. Use my my official corporate number for a while here. Please leave your message for five. Ah, now the phone's off anyway. Ah. It's so quiet around here without train wreck Please on a Monday. Your message. I was wondering why it's so quiet. It's because Trainwreck's not here. DS is loving it. DS is like, thank fuck. Please leave your message. <laughs> I don't know where he is. I hope he's all right. I hope him and Chumley are all right. They're both, uh, they're both AWOL. Uh, they went off to a party together. I maybe think. they are. Maybe they hooked up. Yeah, fair play to them if they did. Mm. That's it. Hello. Hi, Jonathan. No. Oh, fuck off then. <laughs> Thank you. You too. Fuck yourself. Bye bye. Yeah, you called me. Well, you called me, idiot. Don't call here. Just take. No, you called me. Take me off your list, stupid. Take me off your list, please. <laughs> Thank you. It's not even him. Wah, 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 wah. See what happens when Ronnie's not here. We've got to do all this work around here. Uh, 
da, 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 Chase Bank. Chase Bank. What did you guys do? All right, Marilyn, what's your damn hell ass problem? Person you called. <gasps> oh. We got one. Yo. Hi. Can I speak to Marilyn, please? This ain't it. I'm sorry. What the fuck? Everyone's in the ghetto tonight. Ghetto, ghetto, ghetto. I'm going to keep using that word all night. Xfinity. I'm going to call for my real corporate number as well. Uh, worst customer service ever, says Tyler. Your call has been forwarded. Ah, come on, people! Maybe I need to go for my break. They always pick up after the break. That's how it Your works. Your call has been forwarded. It's definitely a foolproof system. There's no way saying that could go wrong at all. It's a Your certainty. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice message. Ah, unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh, what you got there? Fresh meat at Delta. I gotta do this fresh Delta complaint. Yeah, it's been cool for Bitching about his flight. Nicholas. All right, Nicholas, get in here. I'll make myself a little mid show refreshment here, and then we're going to come back and tear some people up. Yeah, Ronnie's not here to dial. That means I'm going to have to leave people in the manhole. That always goes wrong. Maybe Hazel can pretend to be a man. Maybe Ray can do the same thing. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! No, I'll give you, that was a good one. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> oh, oh. Someone remind me when I come back, I'm going to call all the people that I've left messages for, too. Because they were all the right people, and if they check the messages, maybe they'll, uh... See, everyone in the chat's missing train wreck now He's not here. I told you guys. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. 4199. People don't like change is the problem. They don't like new people turning up, and they don't like it when those people aren't here either. Yeah. You can't, you can't win. Maybe he's with his brother. Your call has been forwarded to an automated train crash. No, I heard um, he went to the coronation with someone called Premier Four. The number you have re oh. Yeah, he was part of the Quebec delegation. Did you watch it? Fuck that guy. Uh, not really. I don't know. I slept through a good part of it. Ah, did you see they had a representative of the IRA sitting there? 
<laughs> no, I'm not joking. I'm I'm not. Yeah, I'm not well. joke. I'm not joking. It. I was only watching it for the you know yeah, political it intrigue, and it was. Uh, yeah, it's like the first time. Well, it was. It wasn't a representative of the IRA. It was someone from Sinn Fein, right? Yeah, which is was, pretty much the same thing. Yeah, they weren't at the last coronation, like yeah. <laughs> things were a little bit different back then. But yeah, <laughs> I do. I was watching it, and there was sort of the BBC was like name dropping everybody that was actually at the service because uh, there was a lot of weird people there, right? The number you. It had a bunch. Uh, it had a bunch of representatives from all different religions. So yeah. there was like there was banchodes there and stuff. And then they started name dropping all these people that were sitting down the front. And one of them, I was like, I was like, I know, I know your woman's name. And I googled it, and she's like, yeah, the Sinn Fein deputy leader or whatever was just sitting right there down the front. <laughs> I was like, wow. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't awkward at all. I know, right. <laughs> Uh, okay, this company's called Tradeblock. They don't appear to have a real phone number. Never heard of them before. I'll just use my magic number. It's got to be something to do with buying and selling shares or crypto. They sound shady, though. All the other comments about them on Google are just complaints. Oh my god. What's going on with these numbers, Belfast? Holy freaking shit. They're just making me work for it. Maybe I need to have my break and then they'll... We're sorry, the number you've dialed is unavailable from your calling area. How dare you? A. How dare you? How could you say that to me? Hey, hey, hey. Fuck out of here. I'll try this last number then. Then we're going for a little break. It's because not, not enough people have tipped yet tonight. That's why they're not picking up. I'm pretty much famous at this race. Look at that screenshot. Warned you guys about this. Ah, uh, still playing that. Yeah, everyone hates me on it. Well. <laughs> This is Cindy, please. No, what, 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 wow. Give me some better numbers there, Belfast. I'll go back to Daz's numbers. Right. Are if you... you go on your break, I'll manhole for tips for you. Okay, you you <laughs> haul yourself out for tips. That'd be great. I will do it. Yes. Right. Thank you. I'll be your wife. You've reached okay, the excellent. Your connection is made. Say hello. Oh. Oh. Your one-on-one -on -one conference has ended. Your connection is made. Say hello. Hello? Yo, what's up? Yo, yeah, what's up, man? Oh, stroking, bro. Just got back from school. Oh. Morning as fuck. Oh, I like it, yeah. What do you like? What are you into? Uh, showing off, playing with daddy dick, blowjobs, cum, balls, pits, butts, feet, kind right, of man. anything. What can I do to get you off, man? Get my skin played with, sniffed, licked, dick sucked, pulling pull okay. on a man's balls. Uh, you, want, you want me to suck on yeah. another man's balls? Is that what you said, man? Uh, no, I like to pull on your balls while you're my cleaning balls? my uncut I want you to pull yeah. on my balls. Put, put, make some sounds for me, man. Your one-on-one -on -one conference has ended. Just gonna jump your in connection there. is made. Say hello. Yo, how you doing? Good man, yeah. Uh, good. What, what are you doing? Choking my cock. Well, that's what's up. Cut, call me a cock, man? Your one on one conference has ended. Your connection is made. Say hello. Hello? Hello. Yo, hey, what's up? Your one on one conference has ended. Your connection is made. Say hello. Yo, what's up? Your one-on-one -on -one conference has ended. You will now hear music until a match is found.
Hello? Yo. What's up? <laughs> what? What? What the fuck, man? What the fuck are you doing? Getting started without me, man? What are you into? Just jer jerking off to the sound of my masculine voice, man? Like it? Let me get my wife on the phone. Raylene, man, come on. Hey. Raylene. This guy's jerking oh. off to you. Are it's you my sure? Wife, it sounds like he's no, I think he he's may just be jerking off. I think he's just a fucking pig, Raylene. It's just. That's the sound you make when you snore. Yeah. Is it turning on, Raylene? Oh, very much so. So. so All right, dude. Not funny. Can we move yeah, on to the next one? Fucking fucking come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Dude, come on. What the fuck? Come on. Hey. Wake the fuck up. What? Wake the fuck up, man. I mean, it kind of sounds like it could be a real person. Oh, it's just some piece of fucking shit wasting our time. Wake up. Hey, wasting... wake up. Raylene, he's wasting our sexy time. I know. God damn it. Wake the fuck up, man. My clit is completely, like, you know, lost. It's... Ugh. Dry. Dry, dry, dry. Raylene, do you know how to hit a button to get the fuck past this bitch? Uh... Oh. Uh oh Yeah. How do we get rid of this asshole? Come on, skip, you dumb motherfucker. Oh, I know what to do. Watch this for ghetto engineering. Speaking of ghetto. Shut up! Uh... Fucking dickheads. Fucking loser. It's the number that you press to change it. It's star. I'm trying to do it now. There you go. Star a pound. You have now blocked this caller. Fine. Your connection is made. Yeah. Say hello. Yo, what's up? Hello, how are you? How you keeping? Oh, well, you sound sexy, man. What you into? Yes, my name is Abdullah. How are you? I'm calling today to uh, find oh, you. Uh, I'm you sound like this really hot I dude I know. You sound like this really hot dude I know named Belfast. Oh, yes. He's super hot. Mm. What's your name? My name's Belfast, too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a skip for you. Honey, who is this person? Oh, no one, man. No one. Your one on one conference has ended. You will now hear music until a match is found.
brother? Yo, what's up? Oh, what's up, idiot? Huh? Your one-on-one -on -one conference has ended. You will now hear music until a match is found. Hello? Yo, what's up, man? Not much. What are you doing? Yeah, just lying in bed, stroking it. What about you? Yeah, I'm just sitting back by my closet, stroking it. Daddy Big Ron, do 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 do. Daddy Big Ron, do 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 do. Daddy Big Ron, do 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 do. Daddy Big Ron, do 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 do. What about you? Front bottom. Yeah, I'm a top man. Can you do me a favor, man? Do me a favor. Just like, could you make some like really amazing sounds for the listeners? Your one-on-one -on -one conference has ended. The hell are you people doing in here? <laughs> it was a pretty big fail. Wow. I heard that For guy snoring. Guy, I know. Guy named Dickhead. I know. But now we know how to get rid of it next time. Yeah, yeah. All right. Let's handle some business here. Keep the Zoom meetings coming if there are any. Uh, let's see here. Uh, yeah, da -da. Good old Comcast complaint here. I use my magic number. Oh no, did we try Tyler? I think we tried Tyler. Let's just check. Your call has been forwarded. Actually, you know what? I've remembered myself. Let's call all the people I left messages for. Let's see here. I'm sure there was one up here. Uh... Yeah, that Delta guy, for starters. That was definitely the right phone number. Let's see here. Yada, 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 yada. I think the first one was his, I think. We'll find out in a moment. You've reached the voice mailbox of Brandon Bailey. Damn it, Brandon. You stupid name. Guy. Let's try that Waffle House lady that I left a rude message for. Come on, Waffle House. That was definitely her and she picked up and hung up because she's like, who playing on my phone? Cardinal Flanagan, thanks for the 10 Schmeckle tip, that's amazing. Front bottom. Everyone else, macronshow.live slash tip. Do it. Thank you for calling. You've reached. My God, get out of here then. I'm not helping you. Uh, Lowe's, I left a message for. Let's try that one. Man, they're making me work tonight. Yeah, da, 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 da. I mean, really. 
Your call has been forwarded to an automated... Ah, oh, all right, fuck these people. Let's do some fresh ones then. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Give the numbers coming, you guys. Uh, another Lowe's one. Come on, lady. Let me help you. Help me help you. I really don't want to talk about it tonight. Your call has been forwarded. People are wanting me to do hotel calls. I mean, I could make that happen. Don't worry, key the faith. They're just making me work for it. Your call has been forwarded to an autumn. Damn. You got one more try, Natasha. Fine. I'm marking you down as a fail. American Air. Good old American Air. They never let us down. Worst customer service ever. Looks like a banjo name to me. Yes, hi there, ma'am. I'm calling from the corporate office with American Air. How are you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. How are you? I'm real good, thanks. Reason for the call is I understand that you had reached out to my team on social media with a complaint. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tell me what happened. I, um, okay, so you're from the corporate office of American Air? Correct, yes. So then are you not connected with all your agents, are you only handling social media? Because you should know that we are having a problem um, since over a month now, and we are actually working with an agent who has been handling our claim. So, Well, here's the thing, ma'am. Yes, I can assure you I do work at the corporate office, and I am in touch with all of my teams, and I do have all the notes that are on here. I just okay. find it beneficial and preferential if the customer can extrapolate the problem to me in their own words when I first make contact. There's no need to be rude about it. I'm not being rude at all. Well, you I'm are. I'm frustrated beyond, uh, beyond anything. So uh, if anything, I feel you should be the one to show more compassion and um, sort of understand where we come from, okay? So... Excuse my tone if you think that I'm being rude, but I'm not being rude. We are beyond frustrated at this point. And the reason being that the minute we found out when we landed at the Chicago airport that our bag is missing, all we have done is actually almost done work for you guys as if we are working for American Air. We are, we've been trying to chase after it, uh, made personal visits to not only the Chicago airport, but at the Heathrow Airport, because we were told that the bag was actually boarded on AA-91. The minute we landed in Chicago, we filed a claim. We have not been able to file, file, track the bag at our end. We kept insisting that every time we spoke with someone on social media via Twitter, and then in general, when my husband kept calling and talking to agents as well, and they're like, oh, but we do see it at our end. Nothing has nothing happened. After that, we were asked to fill out a form. We filled out the form. We've been telling them on and on that how we have things in the bag which are irreplaceable. And basically, the answers that we got were, oh, we are only going to pay you for the items 
that were part of the bag, which are just so I basically get 1700 and then my husband and my son, whose items were in the bag, get like 700 and 1100 So we are not even, at this point, we have lost over $5,400 of the amount that was, the items that were in the bag. We are not even getting the full reimbursement of that. Oh, my First gosh. And, and I understand that your policy is 1700 per passenger. So my question to you, and I don't know if you've read my rules, because I've actually written... My husband, you should actually be speaking to my husband at this point because he's the one handling the whole claim and I'm happy to pass on his number to you. Because well, my question, you- I mean, my question to you would be that you've just told me that you already understood the the maximum claim limit for luggage. So why did you put items of a higher value than that in your luggage if you already knew the policy? It is the, not a policy? higher value. Excuse me. We, when, we, when, when we were asked to fill out the form, we were asked to write down all the items that were in the bag so that's exactly what we did. Nothing in that, on that list is of something that, that has just been fabricated, the amount. We have not only submitted the receipts that were above $100, we've also submitted the receipts that were less than $100. So I don't understand your question. At this okay, point. I understand. That, okay. Yes. I, I, you, need to, you, need to, you need to listen and listen to what I'm trying to say, Okay. So okay. we have not fabricated anything. We have proof of every single item that was in the bag with receipts attached, not only for the items that were above $100, but even the items that were less than $100. My items by itself is close to $3,000. And to so, so that's my point higher, is, that's higher that than the, the maximum the, the amount allowed, isn't it? Because 3000 is higher than 1700 Do you understand? I, you know what? Who, who, what, what, um, who, who, what, 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 what is your job at the corporate office? I'm going to have my husband talk to you directly. Wait, okay. Is this the number he can reach out to? Yes, but it's going to put you into a queue, which is about three hours so long at get, the moment. I can get your direct number or I um, don't have a direct you number. number and you can talk to him. Perfect. Yeah, let me have your husband's number, please. Yes. And can I get your name again? Yes, my name is Ron. R O N? Yes, last name is Swanson. And your last name? Uh, Swanson. Swanson. Okay, Ron Swanson. You can note down my husband's number. Okie dokie. Give me one yes. moment to grab a pen. Hold yes. on a minute. Yes. Um, okay, go ahead, please. been talking with the agent and handling the claim i have been copied on all the emails but i was just very quiet until the very end the point is that we are not getting the amount i'm not asking even for fifty four hundred dollars it should be 1700 per passenger that we've lost right the things that the the amount that we've lost in the entire bag is fifty four hundred dollars you're not even giving me the minimum of what you should be giving me. Well, ma'am, if you'll, if you'll let me speak, I, because this has been escalated to corporate, we are now willing to, to, to settle this for you and give you the amount requested, but you haven't really let me get a, a word in edgewise. What's your husband's name? His name is Nilay, N-I-L-A-Y, and the same last name as me, Doshi. Okay, now what I was trying to explain to you, ma'am, before you got all irate, was that all I need to do is just get authorization from my supervisor and we'll be able to process this for you, no problem. So, Mr. Swanson, can I tell you something? When my I'm husband. I'm sure you're going to do it anyway. With, with my, my husband, when he spoke with Ms. Max, Maxwell, S- who was handling a claim, and asked to speak with the supervisor, she shut him down. She said, We are not allowed to do that. I'm the one handling your claim. This is where we stop at. Well, I'm very there sorry to hear People that. Are exact words. If you wanted to, to formalize a complaint with that, if you mention it to my supervisor, they will actually log a formal complaint for you. But would you like me to go ahead and get the supervisor so that we can just get the clarification of the amount and then get it settled for you? How about you directly talk with my husband? He'll be able to explain to you in a much calmer way. 
Well, no, because it's fine. Imagine, it's fine, ma'am. I'd, I'd, I'd like to have you speak to my supervisor because she does want to issue a formal apology and just tell you how much we'll be able to settle. And it will only take one minute. Would that be okay? No, I'm going to have you speak with my husband. I'm going to have your supervisor speak with my husband, please. Let's just go the right way and the most legal way. That I would appreciate that better. Okay, well, if, if, you, if, okay. You, if you're going to be a banchoed about it, I'll go call your husband, okay? Thank you very much. All right, bancho do. <laughs> she fucking woman. She even when you even when you gave her what she wanted, she's not happy. Like she just wants to fucking that, bitch. That husband's going down. Oh yeah, no, this fucking banchoed's in trouble. <clears throat> I've got a great idea for this. My name is Nilay Doshi. Hello. Hi, this is Nilay. Hi there, sir. I'm calling from American Airlines Corporate. How are you doing? Good. How are you doing? A uh, little bit shaken up, actually. I just had a conversation with your wife. Um, oh, hey. She she's caused quite the problem here because your your I guess she'd made a complaint and it got escalated to us here at corporate, and we were just going to pay out the amount that she requested, but. She was doing a lot, a lot of shouting, yelling, screaming, swearing at us, making threats. So unfortunately, instead, of, we, we're now not going to be able to pay you the compensation. And we've had to put you both on the no-fly list, I'm afraid. What? Yeah, yeah, your wife was being a real, I, I don't want to say it, but she was, you know, super passive-aggressive. She was rude. She was ignorant. She was yelling at us, screeching at us. And it just, we don't really tolerate that kind of, you know, banchoed behavior from you people. So you're going to be on the no-fly list for the next 10 years, okay? Should give you some time to maybe think about, you know, your behavior towards us when you speak to us. So uh, so let me, let me clarify this, right? As you can imagine, we've had uh, quite an ordeal with the airlines. Right. Right. It took us a lot of time to find all the receipts and all of that. And when we submit everything, we then get to know that only part of the receipts are going to be paid. Yeah. We, we, we spent a lot of hours going through all of our old bank records, calling certain vendors, finding the receipts, right? And, and it, Could I just checked your email. Up. Yeah. What was that? Sorry? No, carry on, carry on. Yeah, so, so she is super agitated anyways. Oh, I can tell. Yeah, no, she stuff. was very, very no, irate, no. very irate with yeah. me. Yeah. So, because most of the things were her things in there, and some of them had sentimental values because they were either like a, a like a first anniversary gift or things like that, right? Um, and um, and even after we repeatedly asked the sort of the person uh, who was handling our customer care or sorry our uh, claim. Uh, we were told, no, this is the policy. I even actually on the phone when she was resolving the issue, we asked if um, they could escalate um, and I could talk to a supervisor so that the supervisor can help us. And I was very clearly told that no supervisor can get engaged, right? Um, so that's when my wife was like, hey, like if nobody's even willing to listen to us, then, you know, we're just going to go to social media and try, um, uh, you know, at least make people aware of what is going on. So you have to understand a person's sort of psychological mindset when we've tried everything possible for a month. And we've actually gone to the airport multiple times trying to very nicely look for our bags, right? Because so far, nobody has still been able to tell me every time we talk to somebody, somebody's like, oh, uh, it's, in, it's in Heathrow. Then somebody tells us, no, the bag was uh, sent to Chicago. And Chicago, there are two terminals, one's the international terminal and one's a, a, a domestic terminal. And we've gone to both places trying to look for our bags, right? So it's been an ordeal for us. Um, and well, I, sir, I let me just, she, let me just, let me, story. let me, let me just correct you on a couple of points, sir. So first of all, you said that she tweeted about the issue in order to make people aware, but... According to the record from my social media team, she's been on social media now for over a decade and only has 57 followers. So I'm not quite sure who she's making aware of the problem. Uh, I'm looking at the tweet she sent and it got absolutely no interactions or responses. So let me assure you that by going on social media, you're making nobody aware apart from the airline. You could have just dealt with us directly instead of 
pretending that 57 followers actually has some kind of you know like you're creating tension here or whatever with your little social media threats and second of all sir everyone has problems all right everybody the airline has problems the staff at the airline problems there is absolutely no excuse for your uptight overbearing loud screechy carpooter karen banchoed of a wife to be mouthing off at me like that do you understand I understand. Good, but again, good. Is... Well, there you go well, then. And now your little your little social media tirade has massively backfired on you, a bit like the wedding. What I'd suggest you do, so now that you're on the no-fly list for the next 10 years, is maybe you, you get some kind of leash and muzzle for that wife of yours and, and stop her, you know, getting you, getting you into pickles like this. Oh, wow. That's that's quite a language coming from customer service people, right? Which is okay. Uh, again, this is uh, uh, this is you and using you this kind of language to customers when you're you're obviously sort of telling us not to use this kind of language towards you. And oh, well, you guys. Have I didn't power. mention anything yeah. about language. I didn't mention anything well, about language. Well, it's you don't go normally and tell people go muzzle yourself. No, I right. said muzzle uh, your wife. Muzzle your wife, yes, sir. Muzzle, She's yes, the problem. But m- muzzle your wife is not a word you use. Frankly, compared to language. compared to her, you've been quite taciturn, you know. But she was yeah, just so, just unbelievable. So, and, we don't have to deal with that yeah. crap. Some fat banchoed. Again, uh, that's as I said. That's uh, you have the power. You have the authority to put people. On yes, I do. Uh, well, look, sir, if, if you want to raise an appeal, if you want to raise an appeal or if you want to extenuate your complaint, you would have to speak to my supervisor. Now, I do have a supervisor who is prepared to speak to you if you want to if you want to kind of uh, carry on with this complaint. But if not, I'd like to draw a line under this and I'd, I'd suggest that, you know, uh, you take the bus next time you need to go anywhere. That is awesome. I hope this is a recorded line, so everything's getting recorded. Yes, it is. Do you want to? Okay, do awesome. you want to? Do you want to speak to the I'm supervisor? Sure. I I would. Okay, if you can hold for one moment, please. I'm going to see if one is available. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. One moment. Your call is very important to us. Please hold. Is that Hazel? Hey, it's Hazel. How are you? Hazel, it's Ron. Um, I've got a Ron Swanson in customer service. Um, I've got a call on hold on line three. He can't hear us right now. He's just got the whole music. Uh, basically, it's this goddamn gandu. His his wife called up here yelling at me because uh, they they're trying to claim compensation for some missing luggage, and she was just being a fucking bitch. Just yelling at me, getting all banchoed, uh, and she asked me, she's like, call my husband, call my husband. So I called her madachoed husband, and now he's mouthing off for me, demanding a supervisor. Can you, I can't even, I can't even with these damn filthy people. Can I just transfer them to you? Okay, if you send me over the notes, I'll, I'll take care of it. Okay. Well, he's a huge banchoed, by the way, so get ready. Will I be able to understand? Yeah, he's uh, at least you're not speaking to his wife. She could make your ears bleed. Okay. Um, oh, shit. Hold on a second. Uh, let me just delete the recording, too, because I kind of oh, went off idea. him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, recording so deleted. Recording All right. Uh, uh, let me go ahead and transfer you through to him now. Just bear with me a moment. Uh, his name is Nile. Nilly. Oh, silly Nilly, the banchoed. Anyway, let oh, okay. me let me transfer him through now, okay? okay? He's on line Thank three. Thank you, Ron. Thanks, Have Hazel. A great night. You too. Bye. Have a great day. It's a great day to fly. This is Hazel speaking. How may I help you? Hi, Hazel. By the way, I heard Hi. all of that conversation about Celine Lidencho. <gasps> I'm going to delete the recording. Um, so um, I'm I sorry, hope he doesn't delete the recording because not... now you are the supervisor, and I hope you're mm-hmm. not promoting people, uh, sort of deleting uh, and doing things unofficial that is not supposed to be done. I don't know what you're talking about, and I'd like to know how I may help you today. 
I am sure you know exactly what I'm talking about because I heard the entire conversation that he had with you as he was transferring you. But to to sort of you were uh, on hold, sir. Put, put the point in case. Um, we have, ma'am, uh, ma'am, did you hear that conversation traveling. when you were on hold? Yes, through the music, okay. very clearly, every single word. Okay, ma'am. How may I help you? Yes, um, and and I'm glad. There is no apology, but that's fine. Um, I don't understand what the what what uh, the issue is, but I'm here to help. So let me know, ma'am, how I can help you. So there was a claim on a lost bag. Um, the See, claim was um, sort of closed out, but not the entire amount of the claim was paid, uh, which may be according to your policies. Um, mm -hmm. So I believe my wife. Uh, may have uh, put something on social media about it. Uh, some customer service person may have called and my wife went off on him uh, because she was not happy. She had a couple of sentimental value items in there, things from a first anniversary gift uh, that uh, I had given to her, um, a gift that when we had first met, I had given it to her, uh, which- Wait, May I ask you, know, you ma'am, specifically yeah. what were the gifts that have this high value on them? Um, so some of them may not even be high value, right? So there was a Burberry scarf, uh, which, uh, so, what that, so what's that a hundred dollars right there? Yeah. 250. Yeah. So, so how do we get to, how do we get to $7,800 or whatever it is you're asking for full compensation? There is not $7,800. I think the total value, which we submitted in an Excel file with all the items, uh, okay. was close to, I think, 5200 or something like that. $5,200, and what do we have? We have one um, counterfeit Burberry scarf. What else do we have? It is it is not a counterfeit Okay, so a $100 real Burberry scarf, if you want to go that way. And what else do we have? I, I One, I did not say $100, a couple hundred dollars, for which, by the way, the receipt was submitted, orig the original receipt from Burberry.com. Um, there was a Fendi okay. purse uh, and a Gucci uh, shoes. Those are the only three high value items. Everything else, I think, was just nominal clothes, fifty dollars sweatshirts. Um, First of all, uh, sir, I'd like to point out like that, that Burberry right? is so twenty ten, and um, the Gucci bag. No comment. You know that um, not having labels on your bags is the new way. I don't know if you watch Succession, but that's people don't wear labels like that anymore. So the value on that stuff is completely wrong. But secondly, okay. um, what I'd like to say is that um, our customer service rep has lodged a formal complaint against your wife. So uh, I think okay. that's why he may have brought me in on the call. I don't really think that she should be screaming at him, cursing at him. Um, I think he put you on the no fly list. And I also think that this is gonna get escalated to our human resources department and I think by the time we're done, you're going to be owing us $5,800 in compensation okay. for stress and sure. and for what That's you okay. caused him. I don't know why That's you okay. think that you, you can... Why do you think that it's okay to talk to people that way, ma'am? I, I think it is when people get frustrated... Um, they say things. These are words. At least we're People not, do get frustrated, uh, but we all live in a yeah. civilization together where you don't speak to people that way. You know that. It, well... Yeah, but when we had very, very, we have asked, we were very polite through the whole process and we had asked for a supervisor and were told that a supervisor cannot come uh, when the place was closed, that no supervisor will be addressing these needs. That's when. But, why, wife, but normally you don't need like, a supervisor for a lost luggage complaint. You put your claim in and you get it. But it looks to me like you, you just went overboard with your screaming and your yelling and your swearing and your threats. Not you, but your yeah. wife. And mm -hmm. no, just no. As I, as I said, we were if if we would have gotten the supervisor at the time when we had asked, we would have explained. Oh, if you would have talked to a supervisor, you wouldn't have made threats. Like if you would have got your whiny little baby fist pounding on the table way. I don't. What are you talking about? You know what? I think this is um, for, even for a customer service. The way your other person was talking, and the way you're talking. When I'm being really nice to you, I'm not. I've not used a single abusive word. And being polite, um, and the way you're responding, sure, escalate it. Uh, put me on the no-fly zone. 
it's okay. I don't like. I I don't have to give American Airlines my business. I've been well, platinum good. for three good. years in the past, good. and good. that's okay. Good. So thank you. You just saved me a lot of trouble. I thank you so much. Uh, you'll be hearing from our legal department, and uh, don't fly with us again. And uh, you know, happy to. Thank you very much. Yeah, and also I'd like to point out that when you're on the no fly list, ma'am, you can't fly with any airline, not just ours. Okay, that's fine. Thank you. You've got the whole nautical world at your disposal, plus a push bike and a train. So go for it. Awesome. Thank you very much. Okay. And when you show up in your little two-bit cheap knockoff Burberry scarf, they're probably not going to let you on those vessels either. But have at it, man, okay, with all your, you know, with everything you've got. Absolutely. Okay, Uh, Okay, ma'am. Thank you so much for calling and have a great day. (laughs) All right. Uh, now, before he calls his wife, uh, I'm going to do it for him. I got a great idea for this. <clears throat> I've been itching to do this the whole time he was on that call. All right. Calling his wife from his number. Watch this. Hello. All right. How are you? Hi. Mani Bosri ma galde tari bern cho chuda wa phone karayi hu empusu. Hello? I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know i Chodu, आओ यहीं बताऊँ तने तारी माने वो चोदू चोदू वालों सॉक्स है ना तने आओ माधव चोद माँ बहन एक बताऊँ तने तारी मानी बोसड़ी नहीं थे फोड़ी नहीं मुकुता आओ जो यानी चोद फोन पर हो लोगों चोदे आई शी गोट द मैसेज आई नाउ लेट्स कॉल हिम फ्रॉम हर नंबर एंड जस्ट डू द सेम थिंग एनीवे Why is he not picking up for her? Oh no, maybe she called him already. Please leave your message for. No, uh, well, I'm marking that as resolved. Complaint resolved. Did I th- see another Zoom meeting creep in there, or or am I going crazy? Ah. Uh... Security to take again. Oh, really? Did I miss some of these ones in the show, Chai? I haven't done this Hertz one, right? No. 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 There's three fresh. Fresh That's meat, one. you say? Fresh meat. If the answer. Must be a full moon tonight. Hertz. Ah, uh, yada, yada, yada. Blah, 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 blah. We need to know the complaint. We'll make them tell it. You have reached Chris Datris, please. That's him.
You have reached Chris Datris. Please leave a message. I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you. Hi, Chris. Calling from Hertz about your complaint. I need to speak to you quite urgently, so I will try your phone in a few minutes. Thank you. Sounds like a real idiot. Too dumb to pick up the phone and let me help him. Hi, is that Jennifer? Yes. Jennifer, hi. I'm calling from the Corporate Liaison Information Team with Hertz. How are you doing? Great. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Reason for the call is your file was actually escalated to me here at Corporate by our social media team. I understand you reached out to them with a complaint. Uh, yes. I did. I, I, I did on Twitter because I, I tried <laughs> using the site and then I they said they I could they couldn't help me and I had to call customer support. I did that. I was on hold for a while. Then the customer support thing said we'll call you back at this number and I waited four hours and nothing happened. So I Oh gosh. I'm so trying. I'm trying to so, What what yeah, was the problem? How can we actually help here? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So so basically, um I've been a, a Hertz Club Gold member for years and years and years, but I haven't traveled, you know, since prior to the pandemic and used Hertz. Yeah, um, yeah. And I have an Amex Platinum card, so I obviously get upgraded, right? So I, I'm getting ready to go on a trip overseas. I realized, oh, i got to download the app. No big deal. I download your app. Can't log in. Don't remember my password. I'm like, oh, no biggie, right? I'll reset it. And that's when the trouble began. Um, it won't let me – it's it's saying the email address I have is not the, the accurate the current email address. So then I was like, okay, fine, maybe it's been several years, I'll just create a new account. And when I went to do that, it said my driver's license was under a different account. So I'm really just trying to reset my account. I'm thinking that uh, the email address that you have is probably my business email address from 10 years ago. I don't know. So really, uh, whichever is the okay. easiest option. No problem with it. The, the easiest option is... Um, well, we've got two options. One of it is we can do it by mail. So we actually mail you out a form to fill in. You mail it back to corporate. That can take six to eight weeks total to process. Um, or we can do a quick verification over the phone with you if you have access to a computer or a laptop with a webcam. Yeah, yeah, I do. Oh, okay, perfect. So if you hop onto the computer for me and go ahead and open up a web browser and I'll talk you through. It should only take two minutes. Okay. I'm fascinated by this. Hold on. No, oh, no problem. Let me get my laptop. <laughs> it's weird that your two options are mail and eight weeks or webcam. Yes, yes. Yeah, some. You guys didn't have a chat bot on your site, to be honest. But well, so some people so don't don't have access to a modern computer or just aren't able to kind of cope with the technology. So that's why we offer the mail option. But this option only gotcha. takes about usually takes five to ten minutes total, and we'll have you all uh, squared up. Okay, cool. Okay, I'm in front of the computer. Oh, okay, so if you just go ahead and open up a web browser for me. Now I'm gonna Shut give up. I'm gonna give you our address. Um, it will pop up with a little box that says allow or block. You must make sure you click on allow. And the address that you're gonna type into the address bar okay. is just go verify dot click. So G O V E R I F Y dot C L I C K. Okay. And just make sure you hit allow as soon as that pops up. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, let me know if that's working. Yep. Perfect. So just click the start verification button. Yeah, so it's just going to go through a few pictures for you. And if you can just uh, click on whatever, whatever it asks for there. And just let me know what the pictures are as you see them. Sure. Yep, ladder. Okay, lots of cars, now cars, lots of cars, okay. Okay, yeah, keep going. Okay, if 
fire hydrant. Okay. Elvis impersonators, okay. Okay. Uh Dark. oh did it I think he went back to the first one. Just hit the refresh button for me again. Just hit refresh. I think it seemed to okay. go back to the first one for some reason. Okay. Let's see. All right, let me okay. know what you see now. Now it's doing teapots. You see teapots? Uh, yep. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, the Chinese lady with the teapots. Yep. Oh, uh, just to check, okay. do you have do you have the volume turned up on your laptop too, so you can hear? So it may play some audio prompts. Okay, hold on just a second. Turn turn your speakers all the way up for me. Up. All the okay, way all gotcha. the way up. Okay, gotcha. so uh keep clicking for me. Okay. Click again. Click oh. some more. Perfect. Click there again. we go. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Click again. Click again. Okay. <laughs> Wowie. Really? That's your choice? Don't stop. I'm on the phone. I'm on the phone. I'll explain later. Way to go. Don't okay. stop. Good job. Click some more. Don't stop. Way to go. Okay. Keep clicking. Way to go. Way to go. Okay. No problem. What the heck? What is going on? Okay, you should see the uh, picture of the house now. You just need to click all the blocks that contain the house. I did. And now I'm just seeing three. I, I did all those blocks, and now I'm just seeing three clouds at the top. Oh, keep clicking for me. That's keep clicking. That's creepy. Keep, keep clicking. <laughs> Sorry, it's a really creepy noise. Okay. All right, go ahead. Click some more. Okay. Click some more. Click some more. Oh, yeah. You're doing great. Keep pushing. Way to go. Don't stop. What is Look this? Again. Excuse me? What do you see now? Oh, what happened? <laughs> there she goes. <laughs> yes. Ray, well done for blurring it out at our end. That's amazing. <laughs> There's tonight's thumbnail, everybody. <laughs> So yeah, she, when she gets to the final thing, it plays the gay thing from uh, what's it called, uh, Devo or whatever his name is, Party Boy. Oh yeah, I know from Jackass. <laughs> Let me just clip out tonight's thumbnail. There, that'll do. <laughs> that was a perfect goosing. Well done, everyone. Save that there for the thumbnail. I'll save me some time later on. All right, I better call her back, see what went wrong there. Yeah, I love that you blurred out the porn race so I, so I don't get caught out on YouTube anymore. That worked perfect. And the, yeah, there's something weird. Oh, no, she had the speakers turned down. That's right. Because the last person we did it to, they had to, uh, they hit refresh and then the sound came on, but she had the speakers. Yeah, it's definitely, it's, it could be in like an it, Apple browser or something. Yeah, it's weird. Um, but I don't know if you guys noticed, but I have this button that Ray put in where it plays creepy noises. I was playing, they took my baby in the background. <laughs> <laughs> so that's all she could hear coming out of the speakers was, they took my baby. <laughs> <laughs> that's what she was getting creeped out about. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let me, uh, let me call her back. Let's see if we can get her back in here. Hi, this is Jen. I can't come back. <laughs> oh, oh. I think she might be done here. Hi, this is Jen. I can't come to the phone right now. 
should block the number. I'll change it by one digit and call again just because I really want to talk to her. Great goosing, though. Great goosing. Textbook goosing action there. Hmm. I don't know what she's done with her phone, but she ain't talking anymore. I'm marking that as resolved. Complaint resolved. See? Uh, Alright. Oh, she was in the show chat. I get confused easily. Hold on. Da, da, da. There she is. Dumbass forgot her login. Amazon! Oh no, this person doesn't like all the Indian people at Amazon. It's a tweet, like, legit. How could you, how could you say that about our fellow Indians? Uh, da, 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 da. I have to use, I have to use my own number because you can't call us Amazon. Ah, uh, that, uh... God, yeah, he really doesn't like the Indian people. Rude. Oh, no! Oh, no. Oh, dear. Leave your message for nine zero. Now would be a great time to mention that I have some very special numbers for the supporters show this week, by the way. I can't really give out what it is on here, but uh, I got access to some special numbers. So the supporters shows are going to be particularly crazy this week. Macronshow.com forward slash join if you want to catch those. It's real easy. Go to macronshow.com forward slash join. You can listen to them live and you can listen to all the old shows. And uh, I got a feeling it's going to be particularly wild this week. Just a hunch. Got some good numbers lined up. Very excited about calling them. Please leave your message for nine. Now I'm getting the fuck you button. Oh dear. Poor sweet gentle Ron. Reject it again. Please leave your message for nine zero four Wah. five. Wow. All right. No, no. You get one more chance. One more chance, sir or ma'am. I'm not in the chat. Oh no, what's going on now? This is Nancy King. Leave me a message and I'll call you back as soon as I can. I think that's her mother. I'm going to mark this as a fail anyway, because fuck him. What am I looking at here then? What's going on? Oh. The one that, the meeting that DS got or the complaint that Belfast got. Oh. Oh, it's on Zoom too. Oh, 
Oh, okay. Oh shit, no, I don't want to go there. We have a uh, homeowners association meeting going on that somebody's forwarded to us. Thank you so much. I love it when people do that. You know what to do, Belfast. This meeting is being recorded. It has nothing to do with the actual square footage. It has to do with number, number of bedrooms. bedrooms. Gotcha. So she could have up to six people there. Yeah, no, it was, I, I wasn't even talking about her. It was just for my own. Yeah, effort. yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I don't think I'd want six people in my apartment, but, you know, you could have that many people. Well, I'm, the just, least, I'm kind of spoiled. But. The lease does state, you know, who the who they tenant is and then who the minor occupants are and that those those should be the only people residing full time. I mean, if her mom wants to come and stay for a week, that, of course, is OK. But you can't have somebody there for an extended period per the lease. And of course, the Gainswood rules and regulations as well. OK, if there's no more questions. Mary, we'll go, yeah. This is Drew. Drew. Clarification of a point. I never went through that program nor needed to go through that program. I just know of the program and it is a rough program. Okay. I, maybe I misunderstood when, when you commented. Thank you for clarifying. Okay. If there are no more questions, we'll go on. And Sarah, our new, our secretary has a report on some of the things that she's working on. Um, as you may have noticed, she updated the look for the board meeting minutes. She's doing the minutes now. She's got a, uh, plans for records management and development of the games or website. And I turn it over to you, Sarah. Well, that's surprising because I, I did not know I had an update. <laughs> ah, so, um, but I have been doing some stuff, but um, I was hoping to keep it <clears throat> under wraps only a little longer, only because I... Um, not ready yet. Anyway, no, that's fine. Um, so, um, so yeah, so I'm just trying to, um, trying to see what I could do to, to, well, let's say I have as my goal, um, to keep all the documents we need to keep and take all the minutes we need to take in a way that takes as little time as possible and gets the information out to everybody as quickly as possible. And um, I had some ideas about how to do that. And so that is what I'm kind of trying out this time, testing out the new um, meeting minutes. But I'm hoping that Amy Cole is still taking meeting minutes too, because I don't do that on a regular basis. And this is just a test this time. So probably be good if we had both of us, um, you know, th this one time to make sure that, you know, we don't miss anything. Um, so, but if it, if it turns out well, then I can always talk with, with Amy or Amanda, you know, about um, using that format um, ongoing. And the, uh, the other major thing that I'm working on is, to create a very, very, very simple um, website for the for the owners here, and it is meant um, simply as um, a way to like a one stop shop for frequently asked questions. Because I found that can run kaling ita na chota chota hai ki use ko e dek na hin pa ata isa usaka front bottom ka hajata hai. Hi there. Okay. All right. So. All right. Um, <laughs> we, were just, we were just Zoom bombed in case you were wondering what happened. <laughs> oh. oh. Luckily, they didn't, there was no exposure or anything. Oh, goodness, Larry, <laughs> you are amazing. Are you single? Um, I think we'll be wow. ready. Are you single and ready to mingle? <laughs> I've never had that happen before. Yeah, we'd really love to grab your head. Yeah. 
put my big monster paws fucking cock to your face. Start pissing right in your mouth and all over your face. Have you exposed that fucking egg bottom fucking the recording hot has fucking stopped. ass ring? Let me piss on it. Uh, put my I, fucking I'm dick to right to it. Piss in it. Slide my Lock cock up in your fucking hot ass and start charging you up with just fucking gallons of fucking sperm. <laughs> they muted everybody. <laughs> Did you see her face? Oh, that was a good one. She got monster paused. <clears throat> she liked it. I'm going to change my name to another. I always change my name so it's one of those people. Oh, can I not change my name? Oh, I think they've disabled. They've locked it all down. Oh, well, they can't work out who's who because we're all using their real <laughs> names. I think I should turn the recording off too. She's like, no, nope, no, we don't need this on the damn recording. Oh, oh there he is. Is everybody still there? We can't answer you, dick. You've muted everyone. I'm still here. Okay, Amy. I did a report of uh, of okay. use of offensive behavior. I suspended everyone's activity for a second. So okay. Okay. May, I don't know if you have to. I think what we have to do is go back and allow everybody to participate. Okay. Um, let's see. Come on, you dick. Hurry up. Daddy Big Ron, do 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 do. Daddy Big Ron, do. Thanks, Jacob. Daddy Big Ron, do 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 do. Daddy Big Ron. Yeah, it's all locked down. The gassy misses has missed the monster pause. Tears of joy. Okay, everybody. I think if you went mute. Hazel, go. Hazel, go, 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 go. Okay. Oh, I have a quick question um, about some Airbnb rules for the building. Hello? Hello? Hi. Can I ask a question about some Airbnb rules um, that are in the building right now I need to know? Um, who are you? My name is Jen. I'm on my friend's. I'm actually airbnb right now, so I'm on my friend's thing, but she wanted me to ask for you because we want to <laughs> get some why are you laughing? Why are you what's laughing? The, what's the unit number, please? Well, I'm not going to very well tell you. Oh, oh I'm coming. I'm coming. I think we need to get out. Yeah, I think I'm going to end the meeting. I'm ending the meeting now. Oh, he ended it. Nice. There we go. Oh, I love victory. Whoever's homeowner association that was that we just disrupted, thank you. Let us know if they say anything about that. We always we always like more feedback. Uh right. Uh, where am I up to here? Who needs my help? Uh God, this guy who's all upset with Comcast Xfinity. Brian. Waha Palm, Brian. You have reached Brian Luders, please leave. That's him, Brian Lugies. You have reached Brian you got one more try, Brian. Don't mess this up.
You have reached Brian Luters. Please leave a message. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hi there, sir. Calling from Xfinity regarding your complaint. I do need to speak to you quite urgently, so I will try your phone in a few minutes. Uh, thank you and have a great day. MSC Cruisers. Never heard of them before. If Trainwreck was here, he would say, What is it we do here at MSC Cruisers? Uh, this person's never going on another cruise with them again, that's for sure. His name's Richard, but I should call him Dick. Dick! Sorry, but your call cannot be completed. Well, my call can't even be completed with that guy. What a, what a loser. Uh, Uber Eats. Someone remind me in a little while before I quit to uh, deal with all the people... That I've left messages for. Uh, this person's an Uber One member. And he's flexing about it. I don't know what that means, but it must mean he orders a lot of takeout. Imagine flexing because you subscribe to Uber Eats. That's him, that's him, that's him, target acquired. Damn it, come on, you're supposed to be a businessman. Pick up the damn phone. You stupid man. One more try. This is George Chuma of Infallible Proofs Photography. I am unavailable at the moment to take your call. Infallible call police call photography. photography. Just leave me your name, a brief message, and I will try <coughs> my best to contact you as soon as possible. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hi George, calling from Uber Eats about your complaint. I do need to speak to you quite urgently, so I will call you back shortly. I'd appreciate if you could pick up. Thanks and have a great day. You want to know if there's any fat fucks meetings going on? Yeah, I haven't checked them for a while. Uh, there's a couple. Let's let's see what they're up to in here. Welcome and thank you for choosing freeconferencecall.com. You're helping people. Oh, okay. DTMF's not working in that one. They broke it. Welcome and thank you. Mm -hmm. Fixed it. If you are the host, press start. Please announce yourself. Hello? 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 Fuck you. Look at that. Bunch of them all suspended here due to intruders. I don't know how that happened. Welcome to the conference service. If you are the moderator, there are currently three other participants in the conference. Hey, stop. They're like, oh, this got bad. And I'm like, Wait. You are now muted. Please. You are now unmuted. Oh, why don't you just stop whining? Ugh. This is the same thing that yeah. happened last time. Why don't you... Uh, we're going to have to hang up uh, the two people that are... Oh, no. Ahead. All two of you. Oh, no. Oh, no. The big oh, meeting's cool. ruined. Oh, no. You managed to get three people on the phone and you still fucked it up. You're fucking useless. Hang up. Hang up. Hang up, you idiots. Gone. Off you go. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.
Go on, get out. Right, I'll go rid of them. We're gonna have to hang up. Welcome to Turbo Bridge. Please enter your conference ID. The conference is in presentation. Uh, that's it. All the others we've had suspended. What is this guy complaining about here? His name's Kelly for stars, which is clearly a girl's name. Uh, Calvana is done. The customer service is the worst. Oh, that's that car place that Ronnie hates. Ronnie always tells me about this place. Calvana. He's telling all the news stations to do a story on them. Like they're gonna do what he says. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice. Come on, people. No one's talkative today at all. Apart from that bancho lady. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. I think we're getting fuck you buttoned here. This is Kelly. Yes, hi Kelly. I'm calling from the corporate liaison team with Carvana. How are you doing? I'm okay. I'm currently on the phone with Carvana. Yes, you're fine. They've actually escalated the case to me over here at corporate, so I'll be taking over the case from now on. You can go ahead and hang up on the other line. Okay, let me... Uh... manager to take care of you, so I want to make sure I, I don't Hello. drop the ball here. Hi. Was I able to merge calls? Yes, yes. I'm not sure. Yeah, oh. hi. Can oh, you, hi. <laughs> hi. Uh, so it's uh, it's uh, Ron here, uh, Ron Cochran over at the corporate liaison team, uh, employee ID 632756. Oh. I, I just picked up this case, so I'll be taking over from here on out. Okay, give me one second here. I, I need to let my manager know, just, you know, just so no she problem. knows I'm, you know, not just... Okay, what was your name again? It's uh, Ron. Ron Cochran. Um, C-O-C-K-R-A-N? Yes. Okay, I'm speaking with a customer. One moment here. Oh, no problem. Do you still have the file open? It's showing that someone else is reading the file right now. If you can go ahead and close that for me, I'd appreciate. Yes, sir. I will. Let me... Thank you so much. So, me... um, sorry, sorry about all this. Let me get this. out of here. Let me close yeah. the account here. Perfect. Let me know when you've closed it, and then just go ahead and hang up the call, please. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, I will go ahead and disconnect. Um, I do hope that you both have a wonderful day. Perfect. Just to confirm, what was your name, ma'am? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Yes. Um, my name is Megan, and I am part of our um, executive resolution leadership uh, department. Okay, perfect. So, yeah, I've got into the file now, so that's perfect. Um, you can go ahead and hang up, Megan. Thank you so much for your help. Okay, you're welcome. I hope Perfect. you both have a uh, wonderful rest of your day. You too, Megan. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh -huh. <clears throat> all right. Sorry about all that uh, messing around there, sir. So just go ahead and tell me in your own words what's been happening. Uh, well, I've been trying to buy a car uh, since last week, and uh, I was um, I, I ordered a, a, a VW Atlas on uh friday i uh, got a confirmation and a delivery time 
uh, for 6.30 on, uh, on Saturday evening. Um, I, the reason I needed a new car is my other car broke down. I, I, the transmission went out of my other vehicle, uh, so I don't have a car. I, uh, am, I have a family of six, uh, four kids, and uh, we have a lot of things going on, so I needed a car immediately. I'd actually put a contract on a car at another dealership, but uh, canceled that when I found out that uh, Carvana could deliver sooner than they could. Uh, so I went ahead with the Carvana uh, order. Um, anyway, uh, 6.30 came uh, on Saturday evening uh, on the 6th, and uh, nobody showed up, nobody called, nobody emailed, no text, no updates in the system. It just said uh, pending delivery. Uh, so my daughter and I uh, waited outside for the car for about an hour uh, in front of our place, and nothing happened. So we waited until about 9 o'clock at night. Um, no updates whatsoever. So um, from there, I've been working on, uh, you know, with customer care and, you know, email, thought by text, trying to get another delivery date. Uh, I was trying to have a car so I could take my kids to school this morning. And, uh, and I was not able to get any kind of delivery date until a later today. I uh, finally got a delivery date of the, uh, of, what is it, the 11th, I think it's the 11th at 5 o'clock. So that kind of brings us to where we are today. I've had to re, re-put the, the order through the system multiple times. Okay. Let me just take a look at the notes here, see if I can figure out what's going on. Just bear with me a moment. Sure. What the heck is that noise? Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, I'm just checking the notes here. So, yeah, it has an ETA of the 11th. Did they make you aware of that? So that would be Thursday. Thursday at 5, yeah. Okay. I'm just trying to... The last time they put the order in, they didn't put my down payment in, so they're going to have to redo the whole thing all over again and they were concerned that it was going to uh, change the delivery date again in the uh, system. Okay, sorry about this. Just taking notes of everything and uh, I'm just trying to establish where the vehicle is now to see if I can get that expedited at all for you. Um, okay. It's not showing a specific reason. It just says there was some kind of delay. Just uh, confirm for me again what the vehicle was. Uh, it's a 2019 Volkswagen Atlas. Okay, bear with me a sec while I just type up some notes. Sure. Okay, yeah, looks like I've identified where the vehicle is, so it's with our delivery agent right now. Um, mm -mm -mm. What I can do, if you're okay to hold on the phone, uh, let me just double check I've got a phone number for them here first. Okay. Yeah, if you can hold on the phone for, the, for a moment, um... What I'd like to do is give them a call, see if I can get that expedited, uh, or at least get an exact time for uh, when it's, you know, when it's when it's due and everything. Um, okay. Uh, 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 bear with me. Yeah, what I'm going to do, I'm going to call them up now. If you can just hold on the line for a moment, I'll be right back with you with an answer, okay? Bear with me a second okay. here. Oh, 
Hello? Yep. Hello. Oh, hey. Uh, is that Scoby? This is Scoby. How can I help? Scoby, it's Ron here at Corpra. Just got an inquiry regarding a vehicle that was supposed to be... supposed to be delivered already. Um... Uh, and I just wondered, can I give you the tracking number? It's a, it's a 2019 VW Atlas that you were supposed to deliver. Um, have you got the vehicle? Is Atlas? there a problem? Yeah, uh, it's a 2019 Atlas. Sorry, I can hear you. We have a couple. Yeah, g give me that number. Give me that number. Let me make sure. Okay, yeah, uh, the, the internal tracking number is 69420800A. That's the internal number, not the customer's number. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I had that vehicle. What's going on? Okay, yeah, the customer's basically called up, uh, just he's a little unhappy about how long it's taking him for the delays. Is there any way we can maybe get that expedited and get that sent over to him? I don't know about it being expedited. I will, I will drop that vehicle off by the end of the weekend. I, maybe Friday, Saturday, I'm actually using that car right now. Wait, what do you mean, sorry, you're using it? Yeah, there was a bit of an issue, and I'm on my end. I my my car broke down, so I've been using this this vehicle. Um, I'll drop it off to him by by the end of the week, though. Oh, because he's he's the the customer's on the line with it, sir. Can, can you still hear us? Are you still on the line, sir? Yeah. Just just go back to him and let him know. No, he's a, something Sco up. Just, Scobie, just, Scobie, no, 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 Scobie, I mean, Scobie, I'm, Scobie, I'm Scobie, right now, so. Scobie, Scobie, Scobie. He's on the line. He's on the line now. Yeah, I'm here. I don't have his line. I, I don't have that asshole's line. No, I'm using no. his car right now at the moment, so he can wait. Are you driving right now? Can you hear me? Okay, he's on the line. The customer is on the line. Yes, I'm driving. I'm driving his car. Yes. Okay, the customer is on Everything the line. No, the test driving. The customer is on the line. He'd like to speak to you. You said you were using the vehicle. Yes, I'm using it. Yes, I'm on the road right now with it. Yes. All right, can, sir. Can you hear Mr. Scoby? He's got the vehicle yeah, now, now, sir. He's driving. He's driving my car, and he's not delivering it to me because he's using it. Uh, yeah, that is. And is, Andy, Andy called me an asshole. Oh, That's I didn't. Great. I whoa, did, whoa, whoa, whoa! Ho hold on. Back up for a moment. I'm sorry. The first gentleman. Your name is Ron. Yes. Yeah, it's Ron with corporate. And you're with corporate. And who's this? Who, who's this other asshole that's with you? This is the customer. This is the owner of the vehicle, Mr. Scobie. Uh, all right, I, I, you didn't tell me that. I was trying to tell you. Go ahead and speak to the customer. What, what is, sir? Yes. I'm here. Look, uh, I let's. We kind of got off on the wrong end there, so let me apologize for a moment. Uh, I'm just testing everything out. Um, <laughs> look, I'm, I'm gonna, you know, keep everything real, dude. Dude, I got a, I got a little hot date tomorrow night. All right, and my vehicle, there was a bit of an issue with my vehicle, so I needed something to run around with. I didn't want to run around, you know, run around my car too dirty. So I figured I'd just use this for a couple of days, and I'll, I'll, I'll drop it off to you by Friday. Is that okay? Are you insane? I'm sorry? Dude, I've got four kids, and I had to rent a car because you didn't I've deliver my car over kids. the weekend. What's your point? I'm What? What did you say to me? My car was supposed to be delivered on Saturday so I could take my kids well, to Well, you take that up Monday with them, morning. okay? You take that up with them. I'm working on it. You take that up with them. I'm doing my job, okay? I'm My job is to test drive the vehicle. I'm test driving it. I'm using it. I'm using it for a few days. That's it. Wow. This is nuts. It fucking stinks in here too. I don't know what you be doing in here. Dirty ass white what? man. What? Man, get out of here, yo. Clean this damn fucking piece of trash out, you. Shit. Mr. Scobie, can you hear me? Yes. All right, look. You said you're, you're using the vehicle. You have a date. Did I hear that right? Yes, I do. I do. 
Uh, this, this motherfucker's trying to ruin that shit. It's not. It's not gonna happen. Well, no. You need to bring the ve You need to drop the vehicle Ain't off for him tonight, please. I drop off some loads in that. You know what I'm saying? I. Uh, Really, sir, I apologize for this. Can, I, I don't care if you have a date. I don't care whatever. This is a recorded line, Mr. Scobie. I need you to get over there and drop that vehicle off tonight. Look, you got a problem. You can take that up with my direct manager. No, 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 okay? no, no. no. He, he understands what's going on. I got a bitch. I'm taking her out. I'm using this fucking car. Is that the, is that the, the engine I can hear right now? What are you doing in the car? I'm driving it. I'm on the way. I'm driving it. I got to pick someone up. No, 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 no. I just... Can you drop the car off tonight, please? I can't do that. I... Look, I, th that's a direct order, okay? We can talk about getting you a, a, a replacement vehicle or something, but I need your assurance you're going to head over there tonight. You know Tommy, right? I I'm know. picking him up. Me and Tommy, we gonna go. We gonna. You know, I don't. Pick up a couple of I don't care. Too. I don't care. Drop that vehicle off tonight, sir. That is an order, or you will lose your job. Can I drop it off afterwards? It's only gonna take a couple of hours. Can I drop it off afterwards? What time? Maybe 11, 11 p.m. Is that okay? Is that all right with you, sir? That's fine. Okay. I don't understand what I don't understand what, what why everyone's getting so aggravated right now. All right, I'm just I'm just picking a you couple. You shouldn't people be up using it for personal reasons. You know that. But I'm working on. I I don't. What do you mean? I, I I'm. There's never been a problem like this before. I've done this every single time. There's never been an issue. I don't even well, know how, how does this guy. Even now you got a problem. Now you got a problem. Okay. Now I, if that car isn't there by 11 p.m. and I'm going to call the customer and check. If it is not there by 11 p.m., you can consider yourself terminated. And you better get the smell or whatever out of there. Whatever you've been doing in there, you better clean it out. That's, you know, the back seats, they fold all the way down. I don't, I won't, I won't need to buy a room. That's, I just wanted to use it for a couple of hours. That's it. Okay. Oh my God. Is that all right with you, sir? Is somebody going to pay for the cleaning of whatever's happening in there? I got four kids. I'm sure you could look it up. Could you just, can you at least, if you're going to use it for that purpose, Mr. Scobie, can you at least put a towel down or something? I mean, I guess I don't have a towel. I mean, I got some napkins. Well, it'll be coming out of your salary if there is any cleanup. Do you understand me? This is outrageous. This is outrageous. I'll drop the car off tonight. I'll drop it off tonight. Just just make sure that you do. I'm I'm gonna let you go, okay, but I'm gonna be speaking to your supervisor about this. There's no need to do that, Ron. There's no need to do that at all. I said motherfucker. Get the hell away from me! Hello? Oh, the, I think we lost him. Sir, can you hear? Are you still there, sir? Yep. Gosh. Well, first of all, I can only just apologize. This is the first time I've ever had anything like this happen. Uh, but at least it, the, the good news is it does seem like you will be getting the vehicle tonight after 11 p.m. Is that is that okay with you at least? And we've got the vehicle then for you. I'm I'm very very concerned. I'm like, am I being pranked? This is huh? This is crazy. What do you mean? Someone's having sex in the car that they're going to deliver to me. Uh, and it sounds like the guy just crashed the car. Yeah, I I heard a bit of a noise too there as well. I wasn't sure if you heard that. Um, I'm sure the vehicle will be fine. I'm sure it will be fine. I'm scared to death why this guy, I, I mean, I might have the police here to, sh to, to protect me because uh, the guy was cussing me out and calling me names. I don't feel very safe. No, you, 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 you don't need the police, sir. It's definitely not a police matter. You're being a, a little bit hysterical there, if you don't mind me saying so. Am I? I mean, well, the, you, uh, the, you know, this person has been an employee for seven years and there's no concern with your safety or anything like that. 
Um, if there is any damage to the vehicle, either the interior or the exterior, do get back in touch with us immediately, though, so that we can discuss it with you. Oh, okay. What what I would do, just out of an abundance of caution, is do you have any Lysol or that kind of thing you can maybe spray the car down with when it arrives? I can't even believe this. I, I, it'd just give me peace of mind to know that you you disinfected the vehicle. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, and again, I'm I'm just very sorry for all the inconvenience. If you did want to escalate this any further, unfortunately, it's it's kind of above my pay grade. I would have to get a, a supervisor in here. Yeah, I probably. I probably need to be talking to someone at the sea level by now. At the sea level? Yeah. What do you mean? Sorry, chief was... operating officer, chief executive officer. Yeah, someone at that level. Well, I, I can pass you through to someone. I mean, the only person above me would be one of our uh, senior VPs, but I can actually transfer you through to one of them if you would like me to do that now for you. Sure. Yeah. I mean, I've already reached out to Teresa anyway. Okay, if you could hold for a moment, I'm going to get someone right in here with you. Bear with me a second. Your call is very important to us. Please hold. Hello, you've reached Kathy here at Carvana. How may I help you? Hello, this is Kelly Rain. Hi, Kelly. How may I help you today? Who, who is this? My name is Kathy. I'm a senior vice president Kathy. here at Carvana. How may I help you today? Hi. Yes. Hi. Um, yeah, so I, I, I don't know if you're aware, but I've, I've been having a very poor uh, customer experience uh, trying to buy a vehicle. Um, mm -hmm. And I was just uh, transferred to you. Yep. Uh, I see some notes coming through now. Uh, do you want to explain to me in a nutshell what happened? Uh, yeah, I was uh, supposed to be getting a car delivered. I, I ordered a vehicle on uh, on the 5th. Uh, it was scheduled mm -hmm. for delivery at um, on the 6th, which was Saturday evening at 630 uh, I did not get the vehicle. The vehicle did not arrive. Um, I did not get a text. I did not get an email. I did not get a phone call and there was no update in the uh, system to inform me that any changes had, had happened. Um, my vehicle had broken down earlier in the week. Uh, my transmission went out and so I decided to buy a new vehicle. Um, I actually had a, another contract at a, a, another dealership in town, but they uh, could not deliver the car until Monday. Um, Carvana's uh, system said that it could deliver the car on, at 6.30 on Saturday night, uh, which never happened. Um, I could not get in touch with anybody. I could not contact anybody. Uh, I tried every single which way to try to get in touch with somebody. I've been trying since Saturday. I've got four kids. I've got a family of six, and I needed to Damn. take my kids to school this morning, and uh, I had to get arranged rides to find a way to get my kids to school. Um, and I've had a nightmare trying to get this order placed and get the car delivered. The order's been redone, I don't know, three or four times. The delivery times have been uh, moved out and moved out. I was just on the phone with, uh, I don't know, some guy that said he was a senior level person that could help get this settled. He called the dispatcher um, who cussed me out, called me uh, an asshole, told me I was a fucking son of a bitch. 
um, <gasps> said that he needed to use the car this evening to have sex with his girlfriend, that there's no way he could deliver it tonight, that he was driving my car now. Um, anyway, so, yeah, that's where we're at. Oh, my. Uh, I'm sure you're mistaken. Okay. Um, can you hold on the I'm line? For one... I've, actually, I've actually recorded the call, so I have it all on, on record. Okay. No need to get snippy. Okay. Well, I'm not um... snippy. I'm not snippy. Okay. I just don't like being called a fucking asshole by a company I'm trying to buy a product from. I understand. Um, okay, let me just make a quick call to the dispatch and see where your car is. And so can you just hold on for one second? Sure. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, hi, Mr. Scobie? Is this the emergency services? No, it's Kathy from Carvana, your employer. I'm just reading the notes and talking with the customer. Oh, hi, what happened? Hi. Are you what happened? Do you have the car? Uh, yeah. How's the uh, car? The car is Let me step away for a moment so I can hear you. Uh give me one moment. I'm so sorry. Uh, what was your name again? My name is Kathy. I'm the senior vice president here. Kathy, Kathy, you sound familiar. Give me a moment. Let me just step away for a second here. Well, I'm your employer, um, so I should sound familiar. Yes, yes. Um, we actually, uh, uh, the car is perfectly fine. Uh, I was actually on my way to dropping off the vehicle. Uh, looks like there was a wreckage uh, on the way. So right now I'm just. I'm in traffic and uh what's all that like... noise behind you and why am I getting notes in that you crashed the car? No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, there was uh there was some miscommunication. The I believe it was an Australian gentleman that I was speaking to earlier. Uh I was simply just trying to explain to him that the vehicle uh, the vehicle in front of me there was a wreck and there's going to be a bit of a delay. So the vehicle in question that you are driving, it's fine. The there's a there's a scratch. There may be a scratch on the, on the on the car. Where on the car? Look, lady, I don't know why you're asking me all these questions. No, no, right? don't look, lady, me. Okay, is the car fine or not? Why are you why are you being such a bitch? I have heard what Look, you were gonna do with this. On the roof. The scratch is on the roof. Because the fucking car is upside down, bitch. And how did the car get upside down? Like... Oh my god. Okay. Stupid ass white bitches fucking call me. This fucking bullshit. Are you okay, Mr. Scobie? That's our number one concern. Are you oh, okay? Oh, now you're concerned about me. Now you're concerned about well, me. Well, you didn't tell me that you, you were in the wreck. wreck. You didn't me fucking tell me that you were in the fucking wreck. My God, I'm trying to help you. Fucking idiot. You know, I, li I like a little girl. Car? Hey, hey, I like ladies with mouths like that. What you do with that mouth, girl? Wouldn't you like to know? Yeah, I would like to know. The car's gonna fuck. It. The car will show up when it shows up. Okay, and is it in relatively the same condition? I'll tip the car. I'm gonna. T I'm trying to tip the car back over so I can make the delivery. Okay, that's what I wanted to know. I just want to make sure that you're gonna make the delivery tonight. I don't know why you're being so rude, man. Sorry, it's been a stressful day. I'm sorry. You want to go for a drink later? Why is that fucking prick? Why, why is that fucking asshole always making complaints? You know some customers. They're always assholes. 
Okay, yeah, I'm gonna. I do. I do. I, let, let, let's let's do something. I'll, I'll drop this fucking piece of shit car off, and me and you, you know, we can we can have a little fun tonight. All right, sounds good. All right, I gotta get back on the line with this asshole. So I'll talk to you later. Right, okay. Hit, hit me up. Hit me up, sweetie. All right. Yeah, but... oh, he hung oh, I hung up. <laughs> <laughs> That was fucking perfect. He's got to be convinced we work for them because of that. Uh, I'll call him back. I'll, uh, I'll rope him back in here. Keep going on about his four kids. <sighs> and tell me he's worst out already. Someone keep an eye on his Twitter for me because he said he recorded the Your call. call has been forwarded to an audio. I do like it when they do that. Hello? Hi, sir. It's Ron with Calvana again. I saw that you terminated the call with my supervisor, and I just wanted to check that everything now got situated for you. This is what? What is this? This has got to be like a prank call, right? What do you mean? No, I, I'm just calling to check that everything's everything's resolved for you. Um, no, nothing's revol resolved for me. Uh, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. What happened? Your, you, so, so your vice president calls me an asshole. Your dispatcher calls me an asshole. Well, you are kind uh, of it. You are. The, you, you are kind of it. The car is the car is upside down on the freeway, and they've got to flip it over so they can deliver it. And this is this is crazy, dude. In fairness, uh, in like, in fairness, you are kind of an asshole. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I'm marking that as resolved. I think we did our job there. There Complaint we go. Complaint resolved. There we go. Resolved. Another one in the box. Thank goodness. Home Depot, I is just it? I know how far his kid's school is away. Yeah, what he the hell? He fucking walk there. His kids wouldn't be fat if they'd walk there. Home Depot, worst customer service ever, says Paul. Alright. We'll see about that. Please leave your message for seven seven. Exactly, Mo Relish. We did what we could there. You can only do so much, you know. I'm only one man. Mm -mm -mm. Come on, Dyla, make it go. Don't want my help, eh? It's your last chance to get your name in the end credits of this epic show, guys. Macronshow.live forward slash tip. You know what to do. Alright, fuck this one. Fuck this one. Next complaints about Louis Vuitton. Can you believe it? How dare you, sir? Her name's Nubia. Because, of course, it is. Nubia. You gotta get the girls in on this one. Okay. Who 
This person placed an order and was not able to cancel it. Of course you can't cancel it. What kind of fucking two-bit flea market do you think this is? <laughs> this is high-end. Once you place the order, you place the damn order. You don't go changing the date. Hi, this is Ron calling from the corporate liaison team at Louis Vuitton. How are you doing? Yes, good, thank you. Am I speaking with uh, Nubia? Yeah, this is she. Hi there, ma'am. So I saw that you'd sent over a complaint to us on social media, and I just wanted to reach out and find out what happened. Um, we actually got it figured out yesterday. Oh, you got everything resolved? Yes, everything is good. Okay, could you do me a favor and just delete the tweet that you had sent over because it's making it makes the company look very bad to have a you know a how you say like a trashy person tweeting about us. So if you could just delete that tweet, that'd be great. Yeah, but you don't have to call me trashy for it. I mean, you. <laughs> it wasn't. I mean, it is. The way that it was worded, basically, she was like, "Oh, just go to the store and buy another one." I was like, "That's not the point. The point is." How is somebody else going to get the package and I just go... Okay, calm down, ma'am. Calm down. I mean, ma'am, the fact is you're dealing with Louis Vuitton here, not Costco. Okay, exactly. so we'd, we'd appreciate... Exactly, that was the whole point. That right, whole so point. we'd appreciate I mean, it. I, we'd I appreciate it. We'd appreciate, it. we'd appreciate it if you stop acting all ghetto on social media and just delete the tweet, please. I am not acting all ghetto, and now I won't even delete it. Just because you're calling me names, oh, well, you, know, I, you could have just heard me out. I, I don't want to have to refer this to a supervisor, but I will do that. Okay, and what is your supervisor going to do? Well, my supervisor could initiate legal action against you for defamation. So there's that. What defamation? Do you, Are your, guy, your guys' calls like recorded or something so you can see what she said? Well, for training purposes or if, something? If you wish, if you wish to still escalate this, I can put you in touch with my supervisor Hazel right now. If you want to speak to, because you're calling me names. I no, never I asked, you names. I asked you if you wanted to escalate the complaint. There's no need to yell at me and get all trashy. I'm not exactly. Look at you acting all trashy. Right. You're the one well, that's just because you're Louis Vuitton. Okay. Yeah, we're we're Louis Vuitton, ma'am. To be honest, we're not kind of used to dealing with people like yourself. I'm surprised you could actually afford to uh, make a purchase from us. Was it on sale or something? <laughs> you're so hilarious, and that's how you treat your customers. Okay. Well, you're not a regular customer, are you? This is probably a one-off purchase, am I right? What? Yeah, because yeah. I go to the actual store to get it. I just wanted yeah. to buy it online because I didn't feel like going to the store. Yeah, you, so you, what's you, the issue? You go to the store to press your nose against the window and dream of a better life. Uh, That's yeah. what you do. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Hazel, call back as my supervisor. No. <laughs> that was me. <amazing. laughs> <laughs> call her back, Hazel, as my supervisor. Say you heard some yelling. We don't allow yelling at the Louis Vuitton office, it's trashy. It's not Costco. Sick of your Costco bashing. No. Oh, no. Oh. Please leave your message for four. Oh, that trashy bitch is done. Priceline. It's nearly time to end things, guys. Make sure you've gone to macronshow.com forward slash join, though, because uh, there's going to be some serious action this week. I got some stuff lined up for you people. It's not a week to miss out on. Thank you to all the new people that have joined recently as well. You guys rock. Been a lot of you. Join the movement, people. Come on, Carol. Oh, Carol. 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 
Welcome to the message management system. Please enter your mailbox number. Yeah, one more chance with me, Carol. Welcome to the message management. So, Carol, you just lost my business. Ah, oh, here we go. Someone complaining about Popeyes. You know it's going to be good when they're complaining about Popeyes. You tried Popeyes, right? Yeah, I had Popeyes in Canada. It was delicious. That spicy sandwich is awesome. I wish we had it here. Uh, Ariel says Popeyes of the worst customer service. <laughs> Maybe. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Five, six, one, six, three. Welcome to the message management system. Please enter your mailbox number. Wait, I was calling that same number again. What the hell, copy and paste? Hey, hey! Don't jerk me around. Come on, lady. Your call has been forwarded to an... Oh, there's just no helping some people. This dude's a pastor and he's also complaining about Popeyes. I do like pastors. Usually they swear the most. Hello? Hello? Good afternoon, Sir Ron, calling from the Corporal Liaison Team at Popeyes. How are you doing? I'm fine. Uh, reason for that call is I saw that you'd reached out to us on social media with a complaint. Is that correct? How did you get my phone number? Uh, well, I work at the corporate office, and uh, your details were just passed to me by our social media team. I understand they, they found it. No, man, I don't like I don't like that. I don't, I don't know how you got my phone number, man. I don't like that. Well, it's public information, so we just wanted to try and reach out about your complaint. Yeah, I, I had a complaint. I'm cool now. I'm just not going back to that Popeye's, but I appreciate it. Yeah, we'd appreciate if you don't come in here with your God-bothering bullshit as well, what kind of Rudy Poo fake pedophile pastor you are, but just stay out the Popeye's, okay? Do you understand? Man, if you don't go get off my phone. <laughs> 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 you little sassy. He didn't like that at all. Mm -hmm. Alright, fuck that sassy bastard. His number was easy to find. He's a pastor. He's put his number everywhere. Uh, 
someone here bitching about United? Uh, da, 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 da. Lost my suitcase. Well, that'll happen when you fly United. And expect us to keep track of every bit of luggage that we get, you know? Hello. Hi there, ma'am. This is Ron calling from the Corporal Liaison team with United. How are you doing? How'd you get this number? Um, it's the number we have on file for you here. I'm calling regarding your complaint about the lost luggage. Okay. Um, this is not the right number that I put in. Oh, that's strange. Well, this was escalated to me at corporate. Um, so this was the number that I was provided with. Mm. Yeah, no, it's not. Oh, okay. So do you want me to just mark this as resolved and close it then? No, 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 no. I would like to be reimbursed for you guys losing my uh, baggage and uh, I have to buy everything new on my vacation and I kept the receipt. Huh, okay. And what's the total value that we're dealing with here? I think it was like 500 or 700, something like that. So is it, is it, okay, that's no problem. Um, bear with me a second. I'm just bringing up your uh, file here. So I assume that the uh, the luggage was never retrieved. Is that correct? No, it was, but it was when I got back home to Reno. Um, the whole time on my vacation, I didn't have my suitcase. Gosh, okay. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. What I'm going to do, because the amount is potentially over $500, is this needs to be escalated to a senior member of staff. So I'm just going to transfer you through to uh, Mr. Scobie. Um, if he's available, and um, I'm at I'm at work right now. Can you guys call me back? Um, oh, you put in a call back because I'm at work. Yeah, I am. Oh, you're at work. Are you doing your? I see that. I looked at your social media. I see you do the OnlyFans and the pornography. Is that? Are you doing some pornography right now? Damn it! <laughs> so yeah, she does OnlyFans. She does porn. She didn't like that, but uh, you can buy that lady. You can see that lady's genitals for twelve dollars a month, everyone. Just join her Snapchat or some bullshit like that. Don't do that. Spend twelve dollars a month on background. Yeah, give me the twelve dollars instead. I'll get my dick out for way less than that. It's true. Yo, you get a lot more over here than. Yeah, she's she is a nude porn model. Scoby, call her back. You got this. Hello? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Go ahead, yes, Scooby. Yes, that is extremely unprofessional. This number is not related to my personal claim that I made. Please do not contact this number again. Ma'am, there's no thing unprofessional that we have done. Your contact information was sent over to our corporate... Oh, what the hell? I'm going to keep calling. She's flying to the... I'm in the dungeon. I'm surprised you can hear me. Hi, you've reached Kiki Lover, where all your Nazi fantasies come true. All your Nazi, Nazi. all your Nazi fantasies come true. That's what she said. Oh, Jesus. oh, my oh, God. oh. oh. That right now. Oh that my God, Nazi. that didn't sound good at all. Hi, you've reached Kiki Lover. Where all your Nazi fantasies come true. She's clearly oh. saying Nazi. All your Nazi fantasies come true. <coughs> I'd better change that for her. We don't want anyone else hearing that. Hi. Oh. I'll try and change that for her. Nazi fantasies. I don't like the sound of that. reached Kiki Lover, where all your Nazi fantasies come true.
Damn it, we can't change the voicemail unless we maybe call from her own number. Let's see if that works. Oh, you can hire her as an escort. Please there you enter go. your password. Yes. Then press pound. Sorry. Four. Sorry. One. Sorry. Zero. Thank you for calling. Goodbye. Nazi fantasies. Please enter your password. De Sorry. Six. Nine. Sorry. One. Sorry. No. No, we're not getting in there. Eight hundred dollars an hour if anybody wants to fuck her. That's what it says on the website. Nah, not worth that much. Alright. It's about time for me to get out of here. The number you are trying to dun. Access code accepted. Muted. As of recovery. Unmuted. Today, I have used the big book, the uh, OA How, 12 Steps and 12 Traditions book. Um, many thanks to my sponsor for reading him. Uh, sponsorship. Uh, uh, okay. Please muted. Uh, I'll stop the. The conference host would like you to unmute. Please press star. Goodbye. Ha <laughs> ha! There we go. Thank you for calling our. If you are the moderator, there are currently thirty. You are now unmuted. Good <laughs> See, cost me they have moderators. Welcome and thank you. Muted. And I think it is a big problem today, too. Unmuted. Now that we have <coughs> two people working. <coughs> now that we have two. <coughs> Muted. Unmuted. <coughs> Goodbye. <coughs> Welcome to the conference. If you are the moderator, you are currently the only person. Ah, they didn't even show up to that one. Welcome to the conference. You will now enter the conference. No, they've given up. It just remains for me to order me and Carpal some foo. Carpal, you want some foo? Shark butt. Shark butt foo. Shark butt foo order coming up. Can I help you? Hello, can I place an order, please? Yeah, what could you like? Uh, can I get one shark butt foo? Hello? Well, it's time to move on with our lives. We've helped a lot of people today, and I'm very proud. Well done, everybody. Got more people. Big thanks to Belfast and Daz for gang numbers tonight. You guys rock. Can I help you? Hey, why don't you shut up over there? I'm trying to sleep. Huh? I'm trying to sleep up here. Will you keep the damn noise down down there? Sir, this is a Blue Storm Hotel. I know it's a hotel, you stupid asshole. I'm trying to sleep up here. Shut up. Okay, cool. Get out of here. Yourself. Fuck off. He's rude, so rude. He was rude last time I called as well. Mm -hmm. 
Try and get us a nice sexy hotel room. Spare no expense around here. Hi, hello? Yeah, well, can I help you? Where's the owner gone? Is he still in China? Uh, excuse me? Is the owner still in China or is he the... The old man, the old man that went to China, the old man that works there. Come on, wake up, wake up. Excuse me, this is, uh, this is Kenway Lodge, what do you want? I want to speak to the owner, you stupid asshole. Idiot. Alright, now. Put me on hold forever. I'm getting the fuck out of here. Uh, what's happening this week? First of all, my Chronathon shit is still on sale. Look at this t-shirt. Look at this wonderful t-shirt I've got. Look at it. Look how good it looks. You want one, don't you? Macronshow.com forward slash store. Go grab one. Uh, I have some amazing calls lined up this week. I have some special numbers that somebody got for me. I can't really say who or why or how. But I have some great numbers that I'm going to call just for the supporters. It's probably going to be all week that we're going to be doing that, hopefully. Make sure you remember to check that out. Uh, macronshow.com forward slash join to check that out. Tomorrow I'm going to be playing uh, the Star Wars game, hopefully, unless I'm too tired again. But I'm probably going to be playing Star Wars. On Friday, the new Zelda game comes out, so I'm going to be streaming the shit out of that. I'm going to be doing prank calls on Wednesday and Friday for supporters. And maybe more, because I'm feeling sassy. It's a good time to get the premium subscription, because we did an amazing premium show on Saturday night that you don't want to miss. Four hours of pizza craziness. It was really good. Really, really good. Also, not enough people are buying the VPN from our special VPN service. Please go to macronshow.com forward slash VPN and... Uh, Get some VPN. It's not IP v Vanish. It's actually a good one. It's not one of these scam sites that you see all the creators doing. So we've actually got a good one. Macronshow.com forward slash VPN to check that out. Used it for years. It's good. Amazing. It's good. It works good. Anyway, thank you for being here, everybody. Thank you for being a part of this. You guys are the best. Make sure you go sign up to catch what other hijinks I do this week. Because uh, I got a feeling in my bones it's going to be good. You know, I'm all... I'm all ready for it. And that's about it from us. Are you ready, couple? Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye, everyone. Goodbye. 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 Thank God that's over with. Holy fucking shit. What a bunch of crap. Goddamn fucking people. Every fucking week. Blah, blah, blah. Cluck, 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 A damn fucking people. Every fucking week. Moochers. Bunch of moochers, all of them. Oh, those little ass. Ah, sick of this goddamn shit. Uh, we the hour of the show talking to fucking people. Ah. Oh. I hear an echo. And yeah, I got you. Echo. Echo. You got the yeah, you can learn in the high bird oil pump. Oh, so on the oh. I'll I'll burn it down. I see it going by. Uh uh and taking a hand. Poor Jeff. We have a game system. No, can you bring your sister or your mother so I can why don't I put my dick in your mother? So, so what? What makes you a lady? What kind of lady are you? You got a cunt or you got a little pussy? What do you got? Um. Yeah, go on then. Yeah, go on then. Yeah, go on then. Yeah, go on then. Okay, I think that's all the lyrics we need. Fuck off, Kevin. Don't you ever get tired, go to sleep. Good night.